All right, we're preparing to go live on YouTube, and I am so freaking excited to talk right. to to talk to to everybody. This is gonna be it's gonna be a fun a fun show, fun fun show. <sighs> All right, let me just make sure we're doing good. It says redirecting to YouTube, so this is good. Okay, so guys, we're officially live. All right, All right. fantastic. Did, whoa, 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 whoa! Did you bring your heroin? Um, no, I left it. Well, fuck it. I'm Shut sorry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do a quick introduction here. So um, you guys, I am Crypto Indio. This is my amazing co-host, Hotep Jesus. We normally do a love and, love and marriage podcast, and we do it on Wednesday night, normally at um, 9.30 ET. But today we decided to do it a little bit early because we wanted to get <coughs> the amazing power couple, John McAfee and Janice McAfee, on the show to talk about their their relationship and every single thing all that we want to know all the juicy details about you how you guys met what you guys are doing now the evolution of everything so first and foremost hotep how are you doing today life is well life is great i don't want to take up too much time but 100 oh, goddamn hotep i love your hair <laughs> thank you my yeah, brother he's been trying he's been trying to get me to do dreads for a long time i've been time trying now. to get janice to do you know dreads or whatever she just refuses it's, you know it she's... seems like a big commitment no she's too hair. fucking white Shut that's up, the problem <laughs> <laughs> come on over man come on over we'd love to have you in the dreadhead community yeah all right <laughs> All right, so I guess, um, Hotep, I don't know if you have any questions prepared. I um, Do you have any questions prepared or you want to freestyle this? I freestyle all my interviews because I'm, right. I'm just a very inquisitive person. So I know you're a prep preparer, so I'm going to ride off your way and just hop in where I, where I got some questions. So I actually didn't prepare anything from, for this particular episode <laughs> because um, it just, I have, I, there's just so much to ask. So first and foremost, John and Janice, how did you guys meet and how long ago was it? Um, it was um, going on eight years ago. It was actually December 14th, um, 2012, which actually when I Googled that date, that was the day of Sandy Hook. So I don't know, like, which is so weird. But anyways, so it was about... Um, but it was like two in the morning two when we met. He had just gotten deported from Guatemala, Guatemala to Miami. And um, I wasn't even supposed to, I was a working girl at the time, a prostitute. So I wasn't even like supposed to be outside because it was a Wednesday going into Thursday, I believe, which are usually very slow days. And so I was actually at home sleeping. Now, but for you men who are listening, <laughs> uh, if you're on a tight budget and you're looking for a decent hoe, <laughs> Wednesdays, you can get serious fucking deals. <laughs> this is actually probably true. <laughs> <laughs> I know anyways. it for a fact. I, I've been around the block, boys. The same. Yes, boys. any any major city probably Wednesdays are your best bet because they're looking to make deals. Yes. Okay. Is that what you wanted me to say? Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Trying to help the men at the audience. Uh, they, and, and and trust me, the crypto community they fucking need it. They need all yes, the help they can get. Oh, do they not? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I've never seen a more clueless community. But go yes. ahead, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So, anyways, I was out. And I was actually leaving, going to leave South Beach to go to somewhere else. And my car happened to be parked near his hotel. And I saw him standing on the corner talking to someone. And as I walked past him, our eyes met. And, you know, I smiled and nodded. But I kept it moving because, I, you know, I sized him up. I'm like, he doesn't look like he has any money. And he doesn't look like he wants to be bothered with me. Right. And so that was, I think, a true assessment. And so... Um, but after I walked by, I turned around and I noticed he was looking at my ass. And so I was like, ah, I got somebody here. But I kept it pushing anyway. So when I got to his hotel, the night security comes outside. And, you know, he's kind of telling us what's going on, what parties are in town, who's in town, whatever. And he looks down the street and he sees John and he was like, well, hey, you know who that is, right? And I'm like, no, who is it? He said, it's John McAfee. And I'm like, well, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and so he says, um, you know, the McAfee antivirus? I was like, yes, I know what that is. He said, well, that's the creator of it. And so, you know, of course, my spidey senses are like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so <laughs> I grabbed my girlfriend and we ran down the street and caught up to him and he was actually in, in front of the news cafe having a cigarette talking to you know, the people down. there no you weren't you were standing and so um i walked up to him and i asked him for a cigarette and so as he was lighting me a cigarette he said what are you girls out here doing drugging and rolling old men to which i replied no we don't use drugs 
And so that basically told him that, you know, yes, I know, you know, uh, well, basically he was saying he was, was our, we, 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 yes. we told the truth about each other. Yes. Upon. I let her know. I've been around the block. You girls are out here drunking and rolling. Oh, man, <laughs> listen, I know where it's at. right? And I let him and know I'm good I, enough to not need drugs. Yeah, so. she's good enough. She doesn't need drugs. And then, okay, well, fuck me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And so, um, you know, after, you know, that little bit of conversation, he kind of looked like, fuck me. Okay. Am I doing this? And he's like, kind of like, yeah, I'm doing this. So he's like, come on. What do you got? I mean, do you want to sit and have a cup of coffee? And so I'm like, yeah, sure. And so, you know, we ordered the coffee and I thought I'd just get it out of the way. So I was like, hey, are, you know, are you looking for some fun tonight? And, you know, you can get a blowjob, have fries, whatever, two for one sort of deal, you know, just to get it the business out of the way. Yes. And he's like, I'm so not interested. And so I said, OK, well, what is going on with you? Like, who are you? What's your story? What like what's going on? And so I think this <laughs> took him back because he was like, like, really, you don't know what's happening with me because he was top of the news. But I had no idea. I didn't watch the news. I didn't know what was going on with him. So he proceeded to tell me his side of, of you know, his story of what was happening in Belize and what led him to being, you know, there in Miami with me, you know, this chance meeting. So well, let me tell you my side of the story. So <laughs> <clears throat> that morning or the morning before I wake up in my in my prison cell in Guatemala. And uh, black shirted, black suited men wearing black masks rouse me out of my cell with telling me to get dressed. I go, fuck me, <laughs> they're going to shoot me. Um, and they took me out to the courtyard. I didn't have any, the only, all I had was clothes on my fucking back. Uh, I had no money, nothing else. Well, I had money, which left in the cell. Anyway, so um, they took me out to the court and the fuck, they are going to shoot me. But instead, they hustled me into this truck. And I got in this convoy, of a military convoy. They had blocked the entire avenue from the prison to the Guatemala City Airport uh, because the president of Guatemala said, get that mofo out of my country because Belize was trying to whack me, right? So he said, if anything happens, I'm going to burn everybody's wives alive. So they had, they had uh, every single street corner. There were military with 50 caliber machine guns, military on roofs. <laughs> They hustled me out of that country, shipped my ass to um, to Miami, <clears throat> and um, this is crazy because they stopped the airplane on the fucking tarmac. Um, they, they dropped the ladder and a bunch of Homeland Security people come on board. And next thing I know, the pilot says, well, Mr. McAfee, uh, please come forward. I didn't have a backpack or bag, nothing, just my clothes. So I went, went forward and go, now what? I mean, because... Listen, I had had the experience of a fucking lifetime for three months with police trying to shoot me, chasing me through the goddamn jungles, me hiding, finally escaping into Guatemala, arrested in Guatemala. So I'm thinking, fuck, now what? So I walk up to, I can see he's a captain, he had Captain Lopez go, uh, all right, Captain, what have I done now? And he said, nothing, Mr. McPhee, we're here to help you. Um, the terminal has two thousand because i'd been top of the news you know boffing murdered my neighbor tried to have the the prime minister assassinated all this other crap that the news comes up with um said there are two thousand reporters at the terminal we're afraid for your safety and the safety of everyone said uh, we are here to take you wherever you want to go in america i go by then i had my fucking fill of people with uniforms so i said Will you take me to the closest taxi stand? And he goes, absolutely, sir. So they, they ushered me off the plane into a, a bulletproof SUV with a whole fucking line of SUVs in front and behind. He said, you'll have to wait a few minutes. <clears throat> so they had cleared. OK, I came in on TWA. They had cleared the northwest uh, ar of the, um, arrivals area of all the people. Nobody, not a single goddamn person. Um, there was one taxi cab with a with an Indian, a Hindu taxi driver wearing a fucking turban, and he's got both hands on the steering wheel in the ten and two position. I'm sure they told him, "Put your hands here," and he's looking like this. They usher me into the taxi, 
the captain shakes my hand and says, welcome back to America. I mean, tears actually came into my eyes. I'm thinking, is this actually happening? They're not arresting me, torturing me, nothing? Um, and <laughs> the Indian turns around and goes, who are you, Sturdy? I go, yeah, I'm not really sure right now. Can you take me to South Beach Beacon Hotel? Well, you got muted. Time. Pardon? Uh -oh. What? So okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. So anyway, I just said, I don't know who I am anymore. Just take me to South Beach, the Beacon Hotel. Um, I didn't have a penny. I couldn't pay for the taxi fare. Uh, so we got to the Beacon Hotel. I said, please wait here. He says, no, it's okay, sir. It's okay, sir. I said, no, wait. Went in. Uh, the concierge knew me. Every time I went to Miami, I said, will someone please pay the taxi out there? And can you get me a room? They didn't say, a, because I'd been top of the news for a fucking month, you know, uh, you know, playboy, murderer, assassinator, uh, you know, debaucher. I was living with seven fucking women. Uh, so anyway, so uh, they give me the, uh, the presidential suite. I come back down. I have no money. So I, I borrowed a phone, called a friend. Um, a few minutes later, someone bought me a paper bag <laughs> with $5,000 in $5 bills. Now, Janice can verify this because <laughs> I paid her that night $1,000 in $5 <laughs> bills. Okay. It took an hour. Which to was count. incredibly difficult to count incredibly because they were super crazy. So anyway, so, <laughs> so anyway, so they paid my taxi. I now have some cash. Now, I'd been in a Guatemalan prison now, and I had money inside the prison. Um, so, and I didn't speak Spanish very well, so I couldn't watch television, couldn't carry on a conversation. So uh, I just uh, made sure that the guards bought in hookers uh, four or five a day. I spent all day long fucking. I mean, the last thing in the world I wanted right now was to fuck what I wanted, because what I desperately missed in Guatemalan prison was good fucking coffee. Uh, even the guards, no matter how much you paid them, all they could bring you was instant goddamn coffee. So I went to the news cafe, man. And I'm going, am I a happy fucking camper? And then here comes a couple of hoes. <laughs> Listen, last thing in the world I want right now is pussy. Ass, nothing. Um, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. So anyway, I, I sit down and the, the white the white hoe is on clearly still on some she was on Molly on some fucking drug yeah. which made her completely useless and I finally leaned over to Janice who was coherent and very <laughs> intelligent and said can you get rid of the white bitch and she goes she whispers in the ear and the white bitch evaporated just like poof uh, so Janice and I we we talk we, we talk for two fucking hours yeah. so finally I said listen said, I'm going to give you $1,000. Come back and spend the night with me. I do not want to have sex. I want to cuddle. Try getting cuddling in a prison. <laughs> and, and seriously. The kind you know, of cuddling that you would enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard motherfucking thing to get. I mean, listen, I've been jailed 21 times in 11 countries. I've never been cuddled in prison. So no, I said, I'm going to give you $1,000. Come back and, and cuddle. Why don't you take the story from here? Yeah, so we went back to his room, and he. But he First was, of all, she didn't believe it. No, right? I didn't believe it at all. I thought I thought it was some code for some kinky shit, some kinky white people shit that I'd never heard of. Like, what <laughs> sort of sexual position is this gonna be? Yeah. What am I gonna have to do? That's gonna but be anyways, weird <laughs> shit because I've never heard of it. Right? <laughs> but no, all we did was cuddle, and it was really nice. We actually. just cuddled. I'm serious. I didn't, I seriously did not want fucking sex. Yeah, he went I wanted to sleep good immediately. Coffee. He was exhausted. He went to sleep immediately. So did I. We stayed, like, we slept all night. I got the best sleep in my adult life up until that time. Like, the best sleep. Because, you know, my life, it was not an easy life I was living. No, know? to be honest, she did wake up in the middle of the night. And I went uh, to the and bathroom. check where I put my pants. I did not. Don't lie on me. To no. see where she could steal all, my money. No, I did not. Do not lie on me. I will not let you tell those lies. Well, okay. Tell me what you did. First of all, what happened was I got up to go to the bathroom and I came back to bed. I checked my phone because I thought my pimp would have been calling or something, which he had not. But anyways, 
Okay, if you remember, sir, when you took your pants off, you put them in the noisy ass closet. Remember that noisy ass closet door, which he put his pants mofo, in there purposely, right? yeah. so you that you don't you don't go to sleep with the hoe and leave your <laughs> leave the, the four thousand exactly. dollars so you have left. How the fuck am I gonna try to steal it? Knock it off, for fuck's sake! You wouldn't have you wouldn't still be with me <laughs> if I tried to steal money from you. Okay, thank you. Let's let's be honest with Fair the enough. people. Fair thank enough. you. Uh, I'm not gonna just. <laughs> whatever smack it off so okay. anyways the door was super loud right I, of course i noticed that because of course listen <laughs> when you're a working girl yes and you come across people that are that don't necessarily know how to handle their drink yeah they're a little you know whatever they pass out and they fall asleep i'm sorry if you happen to have a large amount of cash on you i'm sorry all right yeah I, Sorry, I, blame, I have to teach I you a lesson. Blame her okay? she Listen, let me tell you something. There's a lot worse that happens to men. Okay, a lot worse that happens to men. It's okay? happened to me. You can get drunk. I've, I knew a girl who actually drugged this guy, but she didn't even know. But he had a heart condition, and he ended up Kill dying. Yes. Ended up dying because she was trying to rob him, and I don't even know what how much she got from. I mean, it's crazy. I also knew this other girl who decided that she wanted to steal diamonds from her client, uncut raw, uncut diamonds. I'm sure they can't find her body. So you know. The like you have, I mean, there's, there's certain risks that you're taking here. Yes. And so for me, this is why this part of the story is important because for me, it wasn't worth the risk because after him telling me just that little bit of his story, obviously this motherfucker, somebody, right? Like who, like what person can, what American can you put in a foreign country where an entire, the entire government, the entire um, military force is looking for this person and that person managed to get away. No one, no one but John fucking McAfee, right? And so for me, it was just not smart to try to to try to you know take him that way or to try to roll him in the, that way. The hoes have not stolen to me for thirty seven years. I'm just saying. Right now, okay? <laughs> that was the last time a host stole from me. And I, you learn, you learn after a while. It's just so, the nature of the business. <laughs> it is indeed. Anyway, and, uh, so that's how we met. Yep. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I gotta hop in here. I got, I got, I got a few things that's on my mind. <laughs> how, how, how do you, how do you come to the point where you're like, we want to be together? Oh, that took a very long time. So, so what happens happen directly after that night? Like, like does I? Right, so oh, hang on. Overnight. By the way, should... we spent we spent virtually every night since that night together. together. Yeah. All right. Except for okay. when I, you know. He's yeah. out of town. Now, visiting. I knew for a fact uh, that the Janice had a pimp, and she had him for yes. 10, 10 years. Yeah, Hoes don't leave pimps easily right. if you've had them for 10 years. So I knew I was in for a long, difficult road. However, this most street smart woman I've ever met. I'm serious. And most, the most street smart, intelligent, um, no, seriously, observant, uh, situationally aware. Well, that's me. Yeah. You know, I, I can't be with women that I got to worry about. But the shit hits the fan, and, and the shit has hit the fan many with times. us many fucking <laughs> and times. And sometimes I've been the cause of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck me. Just a year yeah. ago, we got out of jail from the Dominican Republic. Yes. That was a close goddamn call. Yes. One of the closest I've been in, and yes. certainly as close as you've ever been. Ever. In. Mm -hmm. Um. So, but because she and I both knew exactly what to do, we only been in jail for four days. And, and we're not there good. yet. We're not there. We're not there on that part of the story. We're not that part of the story. Okay. So, Fuck okay. So, what happened? All right. So, so no, go okay. I'm sorry. No, go, you go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. Please. No, continue. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> loving this story. Okay. Like, this story is okay. so intriguing. Go ahead. So, what happened after that was, you know, we spent the night and get up in the morning, and I'm for sure he's going to say, okay, nice knowing you, bitch, whatever. And so he's like, well, listen, I've got this interview I have to go to. Are you going to be here when I get back? And I was like, wait, what? Am I going to be here? <laughs> what kind of going to be here? Hell yeah. Duh. So he was like, okay, yeah, go ahead and have breakfast, charge it to the room, whatever. So he leaves. And um, I go downstairs to have breakfast and I'm sitting out front of the hotel. And this cab driver comes, he parks right in front and he comes directly over to me. And he says, um, are you here with John McAfee? And I was like, 
who? And he said, um, you know, you're here with John McAfee. You know John McAfee, right? I was like, no, I don't know who you're talking about. And he was like, yeah, okay, so can you just tell him that his cab driver's here? And I was like, well, I would if I knew who you were talking about, but I don't know who John McAfee is. So before you can <laughs> understand all the rest of this story, Belize was trying to whack me in a Guatemalan jail. I'm a difficult person to, to whack. I really am. So I'm, I'm as slippery as a goddamn pig. So now, um, when I when I was deported from Guatemala back to the States, because Belize had demanded that Guatemala ship me back to Belize where they could execute me. But in any case, so, um, so now they found out I'm in Miami. Well, that's top of the goddamn news. That's not hard to find, is it? That's public information. Now, um, they say they sent their henchmen to Miami. Mm. Um, and so that's where the story gets interesting. So, oh, wow. I, I didn't, I didn't so have a goddamn a... cab driver. Listen, I just got into town. Yeah. My cab driver was an Indian fellow with a turban, very happy to, to get rid of my sorry ass. <laughs> so, oh. when Janice said the cab driver came, your cab driver go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes back from his interview. Okay. So I'm, you know, I'm still, you know, playing it cool. Like, nah, I don't know who you're talking about, sir, but you have a nice day. Okay. And, you know, I sat there very calmly, ate my breakfast because he didn't leave right away. So, you know, I'm playing it cool. But um, when John got back from his interview, I was like, hey, you know, your cab driver, you know, he came and he said, you know, he's available for you, whatever. And he was like, I don't have no cab driver. So then I'm like, okay. I did the right thing. I played it the right way. And so <laughs> so then he goes back downstairs. I think well, actually, the, the cab driver, Janice pointed him out, is sitting there with three other and they're burly, definitely hitmen type. So mm -hmm. I go over and I just say, can I sit down? <laughs> and I go, what? Go, so I sit down and go, hey, <laughs> who are you, mofos? <laughs> and they're, they're, they're looking at it. It's daytime in South Beach, Miami. Nobody is going to roughhouse me or anybody in front of yeah. the Beacon goddamn hotel. Let's yeah. face it. Yeah. No, so it's right there. It's right there on Ocean Drive. Yeah, right so, right. I know so Ocean anyway, so okay. So I, I could tell by the body language and the freaking outness that was happening. I go, oh, God damn it. So I've got some serious mofos here now. So anyway, I said, well, listen, it's nice chat with you motherfuckers. I hope, I mean, I really fucking hope I see you tonight somewhere. Uh, very quiet. Do, do you understand me? <laughs> yeah. at each other. So anyway, so, then so he fear. Up, you got to so fear. Yes, you do. You can, but then right? he comes upstairs and he's like, "Okay, go down. I want you to go downstairs and see if you see these guys still sitting at the table." But by, by then they had gone. So yes. then we decided to go out for lunch, and that's where the first pictures of us came from when we went out to lunch. Right. When we went out to and, lunch, um, the first pictures that showed up in all of the newspapers around the world. Yeah. Me with this with this luscious young hoe. Uh, oh, you I know. looked horrible. No, but, but listen, if you look at some of those pictures in one of them, there's one of those dudes, remember? Yeah. And he's and his eyes, I mean, he's definitely a fucking killer. He's just looking like, yeah. It was an intense your, lunch that we went was, to because oh, we yeah, went in, um, Okay, there was a there was. Where, a, well, we have to tell them where we were. We went. We were over on Lincoln Drive. You know, there's where the stores are, and there's like restaurants in that sort of strip area. And then you have streets that you can drive down in between, where you mm -hmm. can sit and eat lunch. Right. Okay. So we're sitting there, and you know, um, he starts to he starts. To, I don't know why what made him do this, but he starts to tell me about hey. Can you see this person right here that's coming by? You know, don't look right now, but I want you to look at this pocket or look at this side. They're, they're carrying a gun. Can you see it? So I'm, you know, he's pointing these things out to me and I'm noticing, okay, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I can see a bulge there. You know, it don't look like a cell phone or a wallet. You know what I'm saying? It was a fucking, um, it was a fucking 38 special. Anyway. And so, yeah, but so I'm paying, so I'm paying attention. And then, you know, um, I think there was this one couple that had come by and he actually grabbed the butter knife and, and like slid it onto his lap and kind of sat back. At this know. point in time, I'm unarmed. I don't get yeah. armed for another three days. Okay. <laughs> yes. Right. So, so mind you, I'm feeling like, okay, this is some real shit is happening right now. I don't know what it is, but some real shit is happening. So then as we're still sitting there, there, the road that I can see behind from where we're sitting, eating lunch, um, there's this white SUV that keeps coming back around like every five minutes or so. It's the Kept same SUV. Circling the block every five fucking and minutes so, and you know, slowing in front of the restaurant. Yeah. So, and so I tell him about this. So we get our, we had, we actually had a driver at this point, a, a town car driver. And um, he takes us to the mall. Um, where's the, where was that mall? 
Oh, it's in Miami. It's a it's the big mall in Miami. Um, I think you know, you might know. I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, so we go to the mall just to see who's following us. And there was actually a Mini Cooper that was trying to follow us <laughs> onto the highway, but the driver ended up getting, getting you know, losing them, I guess, because we got into traffic. So see, I've, I've got by by that next morning, I've contacted my people in Miami. At least, mm -hmm. okay, so my uh, my limo driver that whenever I go to Miami, I always contacted him. So I called him. He was happy to see me. He said, God, I, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I've been reading the news every day. How did you get out? And I go, just, you know, close the door. We'll talk about it on the way. So he knows how to lose people. All right. Uh, I, I In a limo? Have a limo Pardon? Yeah. Well, not, it's not a okay. stress. The town car. Town it, car. Was town car. Yeah. it was right. a so town car. It was a town car. Because I was going to say, it, if, he lo if he lost people in a limo, he was good. No. That's impressive. No, no and it was not. <laughs> that would actually Listen, in these circumstances, you do not want a limo, but a no, no, Lincoln no. town car with a big engine. Fuck yes. So, so anyway, so he lost that. He lost that guy very quickly. Yeah. And then we moved. Okay. So after that, it was very clear that there were a lot of people following, watching, whatever. So then he decided to go get um, a hotel out in Fort Lauderdale. And um, so in the meantime, I'm going back and forth to my pimp. So this is now over the course of, well, that was actually just the second day we met. So then Damn, after that, we too. spent the we spent the rest of the week together. Um, and so I was back and forth going, you know, from my pimp or whatever. But I was very aware of the situation. And I was no, nervous by, by, not by being around week, him because I'm I like, had, who's watching me now? By the end of the week, I was armed. And yeah. so if I'm armed, you got to trust me. <laughs> Janice will tell you. You don't want to come near me. Yeah, right? no, I am, I am the way. fastest <laughs> drawn and the, and the deadest eyes shot on this fucking planet. I've been shooting since I was four. I'm serious. Four years old, my grandfather taught me to shoot. Um, so, no, and I'm armed, and now I know I'm okay. Yeah. Um, and the the change in the dynamic, because it's pretty clear from the people following us that I'm armed, was that people didn't come within 100 yards yeah, of no, us. No, they, but they were following, but at a much further mm -hmm. fucking distance. So, now I'm armed, I keep telling, I tell Janice, Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, no, I, we, I mean, we, I wasn't really, like, I wouldn't say I was scared, but I was definitely like, okay, what am I getting into? Like, and who's, like, how is this going to affect me when we eventually separate? Because, of course, that's going to happen, you know, like, this wasn't going to last forever. Not to me. It didn't, you know, like, I would have never imagined I'd still be with this man at that time, you she, know? She, she misjudged me, okay? She's used to men who, who Using stay with women because of, uh, this thing called love uh, or lust. Uh, listen, these are emotions, people. They do not last. I don't give a flying fuck what you think. They don't. <laughs> um, what does last is respect. I respected yeah. this woman's street smarts, her intelligence, uh, friendship, the ability to be honest with each other, to be fucking honest. That's deep. Um, to have each other's back. I've always had your motherfucking yes, back, yeah. and you have always had mine. Yeah. Even. I've tried to. Even yeah. when I mean, it was even hard. In the, the I mean, very we'll get, first part, we'll listen. <laughs> now, for the first year, we'll Janice was actually working with my opposition. Yeah. Okay. Well, she had no mm -hmm. choice. I mean, her pimp had set this up. Um, and. Well, uh, we went, okay, let's tell that. <clears> so <throat> after, okay, after we, we go to Fort Lauderdale and we, um, we separate, he leaves because he has to go, whatever. He doesn't tell me why, but he's like, listen, I'm going to call you next week or this thursday whatever date it was and so um you know just be ready to come and fly to me so i'm like okay whatever he's lying so he ended up actually calling me which i was shocked I right i was super shocked that he called me and he was like yeah i need you to come to i need you to fly to t um can i say where tennessee. oh to tennessee and so um my pimp was like Wait, what bitch? You're gonna fly where? Nashville, <laughs> You're gonna do fly, what? Fly to Nashville. Tennessee. Because he's like, I just bought a truck and I wanna drive it from, you know, from Tennessee to Portland. And so I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this. And my pimp, of course, is like, You're not gonna get in a truck with this guy. You don't know him. Like he might have murdered his neighbor. Like, and so, you know, he's trying to psych me out because he does because obviously he can see the writing on the wall. What I mean, what pimp couldn't, you know what I'm saying? And so um finally he decided to let me go so i flew to him in tennessee and we took a month and a half it trip. was not a month and a half it was three weeks three, three, what? It's, three it's weeks it seemed like, it seemed a, like a long time well because we got stuck in um 
where was that? Bum fuck uh, nowhere. Bum There's bum fuck black nowhere. ice on the road. Anyways, <laughs> anyways um, it was a good time. So that okay, so that three weeks was sort of what cemented our friendship and this relationship right yes. here. Now I knew what I was in for. I knew that the cement was very tenuous and not exactly frozen yet. So, so and I knew she was still. Are y'all still cuddling or y'all fucking yet? <laughs> oh no, we started fucking on, on the second. We were fucking on the second day. We were fucking on the second day. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm still cuddling, yes. Yeah, the cuddling was great for one night. I didn't say what I wanted the second night. All right, I'm I, just, I think it was pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, I'm not a stupid man. I'm, about, I'm paying money here. Okay? Uh, all right. Um, what man pays a thousand dollars a night for cuddling? Well, I do, <laughs> but not every fucking, not every fucking night. Let's get real on this, okay? So uh, now. All right, um, so y'all, y'all have y'all have consummated, beautiful. All right. Yeah. yeah now we have a have second night. So now, but mm-hmm. I know I'm in for a rough hole. Now she's still with the pimp. Three weeks. And I know they're plotting, and I because no, 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 no. There was no plotting. At okay, this, this point, is what it was. This is what it was. He was wanting me to let him know where we were. You know, of course. Um, well, you know, just the happenings, the goings on, because he wanted to make sure I was safe, right? And so for me, it was like I can't tell him that stuff because we're in a car together. Yeah. And so he's calling me like nonstop. And I'm like, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm riding with this dude. Like, I'm gonna get on the phone. How the fuck am I supposed to pretend like I'm not talking to you, nigga? Like, yeah. what? I'm sorry, I'm getting comfortable, but <laughs> get excuse that nigga. Me but too. okay. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm like, it was just Racist. It was a lot. No, I'm just saying because I don't know their listeners may not like that language. I'm not they're used to it. No, you get okay. get, get get comfortable. We, Hotep and I keep it real. So whatever makes you feel comfortable, speak on it. Nigga, 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 nigga. The niggas, nigga is no. Nigga. Not you. Shush. Okay. Listen, you, you know what? I do it. Wait, I have to tell this story. Like, okay, so <laughs> here we go. Oh gosh. Wait, when we were first. Here, it's just funny because how long he practiced that to be able to say it correctly was, I wish he could have been there, but We're okay, because started. first of all, if you're going to be with me, all right, you're going to say it right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay. I need him to be able to say it right. Right. Because uh, I don't want people looking at you crazy or, you know, wanting to kill you because you're not saying it the right way, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So we, 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 we got the pimp on the phone and, and he's, yeah. he's expecting and you he's to- And he's calling and he's just making it rough for me, making problems. And so finally, um, I got to the point where I just turned my phone off. This is about halfway into the trip. Or I just turned it off and I would call whenever, you know, John would be asleep or something, you know, but- so we fast forward when we get to Portland, it was a good trip. You know, we're talking, I'm letting him know about me, but I don't let him know about the pimp because as if, as if I'm as if he know. didn't please, know, but I know, but I didn't know that he knew and I wanted it to come from me, but I didn't, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to run him off. I guess you could say, I didn't want to run him off. Cause I, you know, I had a lot of shit that was happening, but anyways, so Portland, when we got to Portland and I had to go back to Miami cause I had a court date, um, for an arrest that I had. And so he said, listen, you know, I'm not gonna be taking care of nobody, all right? Like you, that's cool. But I'm not gonna allow you to be sending money to anybody to that's be right. taking that, care that's of all, I'm, not, I'm not supporting Now he never said, yep, no, 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 no. He, he never, he was way more, way more slick about it than that than saying, I ain't taking care of your pimp. He was just saying like, listen, if you come back to me, like you coming back to me and you ain't going to be, you know, you're not going to still be sending money to the pimp and all of this back and forth. And so I was like, all right, cool, bet I'm coming back. So, and I meant it and I came back and and everything was cool for a minute, but let me tell you something. All right. So this man, which was cool because we, we, okay. It was discussed and everything was cool. Everybody, he's got girlfriends. Yeah. So he's got girlfriends. He had one come and live with us. That bitch was okay. She was okay because she wasn't actually trying to run the house. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to sneak. Do you understand this, people? No, no, no. He was very honest. honest. I'm going to bring a girl and I'm going to be sleeping with her. Very honest. No, he was very honest. Listen, he would go out and do this anyways, you know? So this was, all right, not a problem because I wasn't in love with him. And I was like, all right, just make sure, you know, what our situation is, is our situation. You know what I'm saying? And, And ain't no reneging. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm holding up my end, I need you to do the same. You know what I'm saying? But if it if things change, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not in here. I'm not in here for no feelings. Like I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So we had an understanding, no problem. And so I'm there for a few months, and I actually had stopped talking to my pimp, and he 
<laughs> John actually had talked to him or whatever. Anyway, well, Jam's on the phone. So he yeah. called. So <laughs> yeah. I said, give me the phone. And I said, you're not going to call her anymore. I said, I want to send my boys up there. We're going to cut you up. I said, well, listen, listen, if you do, bring their fucking body bags. I'm tired of buying that shit. Are we clear? He goes, well, don't get gangster on me. And I go, I'm not getting gangster. I'm not threatening you, dude. I'm just telling you what will happen. Are we fucking clear here? And then I gave the phone back. He gave the phone Jamis. back to me. He was like, you just don't let that nigga threaten me. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Okay, so this went a few months. I'd say like four months. Four months, I had left my pain, whatever. Okay, but then as he's got, you know, he's got sort of, you know, a little revolving door of, of females, no problem. But then this one bitch, and I don't even know, it wasn't necessarily the bitch herself per se. It wasn't like specifically her. It was just what she triggered in me. And I was like, I ain't dealing with this fucking shit. White, blonde, rich, that, that's snooty. Not, that wasn't the problem. That wasn't the problem. The problem was the bitch come around walking around my spot half naked and shit. Bitch, I don't want to see that. Like when I was at her house, I had respect for her house. You understand me? I stayed in my space. I wasn't walking around sashaying with my booty cheeks hanging out. Why was she would have been mad about? Why? Because she wanted booty like I had and she kept harassing him about should I get implants and all of this? Yeah, but I wasn't disrespectful with her house. You know what I mean? And it's like, anyways, it just triggered me and I wasn't having it. So we had a big ass fight and I ended up leaving. Okay. And I called the pimp. And this is where I fucked up. Is because when I called him, I did not know that he was uh, working things out. Uh, I guess with he the, had been with the cartel yes. in in Belize and Mexico. He had been approached because they, somehow they, at some point they were offering twenty million dollars for my head at that point. All right. Mm. Now, I've actually had more offered for my head, um, and no one succeeded. But in any case, so. <laughs> They basically forced Janice. Yeah, so unbeknownst to me, he had already had this arranged. And so when I called him, um, you know, I said, I don't got no money. I need you to send me some, you know, send me a plane ticket because I'm not staying because I didn't want to stay. If this was what was going to be going on, I could have dealt with that when, you know, in the situation that I know, at least I know what the fuck is going to happen. I'm getting my ass beat regularly. And, you know, I can handle that. I can deal with that. But this sort of situation where my feelings now, like now I got these fucking feelings that I don't like having because it's like, why am I, why, like, why do I even care about this man like this, you know, so. So this old white prick, yeah. right, that, <laughs> that brings all these white chicks around. Right? Yeah, why did I even care? And it wasn't even it's a, a jealousy thing. Flow it was of white just chicks a, coming in. It wasn't well, a jealousy on, thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was just a. Why not Filipino girl? Right. Yeah. No, no, I don't know. Why are you trying to make it sound like I'm racist? I like white bitches. Listen, white bitches. I like y'all. <laughs> yes. And don't me... be upset because I say white bitches. It's just how I talk. They are white. I say this. Well, I talk what? the same. They are that... white. They are white bitches. Okay? I, I th- and I'm that's sorry. okay. To me, that's okay to use. I support that. So you call me okay. okay. I support that. Does that does no, not you're bother not white. me? White. Like she, you Italian or something, ain't you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Listen, See, I like Italian, I like pasta and all that. I like you. And I will I will cook you and John some dinner one night. I'll cook you guys awesome. a real awesome. we'll Sicilian, okay. real Sicilian dinner. Hotep, don't say nothing. I don't want to hear oh, nothing out of you. Me, Sicilian, oh, baby. Sicilian. Oh, you crazier than I am. She's crazier than I am. No, she's she's crazy crazy than no I am. Sicilian, <laughs> this is a goddamn plan, honey. Shut because up. the mafia was also <laughs> called in on us later. In, no, later, later in that in same year. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, so... <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the, the Baby, does he have? Done. Are those? Are those? Are, are those weave? That's not even his fucking hair. Is this is not weave, John. This ain't no damn weave. This is yeah. authentic That's fucking weave. Oh my this god, no goddamn weave, John. <laughs> all right, oh my all right. God. He's just Take proud that. that he's learned that you can actually weave dress. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so we got the cartel then yeah. made a deal with your pimp. Yeah, and, and they actually gave to... him some money. Now, so the first happened, thing they asked, well, well, let me tell, oh, let me tell it, how, how it happened. Because when when he um, when I called him and I said I needed some money, he was like, okay, I got this client for you, no truth. So he sends the dude over, we do business, I get my money. And then at, afterwards, he's like, okay, listen, so I know your pimp, you know, he sent me over here, whatever. And, you know, I, we got this, I got this business proposition that I want to talk to y'all about. So I need you to meet us at this hotel, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> so when I get there, um, it's my pimp, some other pimps who I won't, you know, we're not going to, just I'll some mention. other pimps. 
No, I don't know. Well, I mean, you can do it if you want. I already put him on notice. No, a very okay. famous pimp. Okay, well, 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 no, you didn't put you didn't put him in the they they names ain't in the news like that. You know what I mean? Like, mean listen, okay, don't okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. Anyways, I'm Mac, not that I'm afraid of them, but okay. Saying, right. Do you want to say their name? No, I don't want to say the fucking. Because they're not gonna know anyway. Fucking name. Right. They don't need that kind of airtime. My pimp is already getting the airtime. Okay. Anyways, most famous pimp in the world. That's yeah, I mean, you can Google it. There's not many. Google most famous pimp in the fucking world. Yeah, anyways. So, is. yes, that's who it is. So, we're in the room, and... I this... eat those pimps for breakfast. <laughs> Let me just say it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. No, you're yeah. free to say whatever you want to say. Please, no, that, if you that, want to say, it's a different league. Say Listen, I... You think I didn't know this shit was happening? Fuck yes, me, yes. Happening. I didn't concern yes, myself. Why? Because there were some serious motherfuckers after me. All right? right a couple right. of goddamn pimps. Fuck that shit. Let's, right. let's hope they don't get too close. <laughs> I don't want blood anywhere near my, my condo. So, no. I'm yes, sorry. Go dear. Ahead. Okay. Are you done? Are you, are you done? Yes, <laughs> okay. You want to tell them about when they ask you to poison me? Yes? Yes, yes I'm going to tell Thank that part of the story. So anyways, this is just the initial meeting. And so, they, you know, the guy, the representative, um, he's like, well, you know, I'm here, you know, for the cartel, whatever. And so basically he's just explaining what they want me to do. And they're like, just want me to give information of his comings and goings. You know, they didn't they didn't even get into the poisoning and all of that. So I'm as I'm listening, I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm not doing that. And he's like, my pimp looking at me like, bitch, be cool. Like, you tripping right now. <laughs> I'm like, what that shit? Like, I'm and not the famous doing pimp, that The famous shit. pimp goes, are you letting your bitch talk to you yes. like that? <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he was like, and when he, and when actually when they were leaving after the meeting was over, it was him that was like, man, listen, if that bitch snitch, I'm whacking her and all her family. I don't give a fuck, my dude. And mm. so that was that. So anyways, as it progressed, Yes, they gave me, I was given some poison. I was in a little bag. Not to kill me, but to disable me. I didn't, so know, I what it, I didn't know what it was supposed to do, Listen, but I was the, asked. Their job to, was not to kill me. They, they could have hired a fucking Marine sniper that. for yeah, that. I guess so. Right. But anyway. 25 grand, I've yes. been dead. So I was supposed to cook for him and put it in the food and, and um, then open, you know, let them in the apartment so that they could take it. <laughs> so. We actually were going to cook dinner together <laughs> and um, somehow he got busy on the phone or whatever. So I was hungry. So I went ahead and cooked. Right. <laughs> and yeah, I had the po I had I had the poison on me. I kept it on me because I didn't want him to find it because I didn't want him to to think the wrong thing, which is, bitch, you trying to poison me because I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I'm just in a dilemma. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, what am I going to do? Like, I can't not do what they're asking me to do because at this point, my life is on the line. My children's lives are on the line. Okay. All and my my parents who my children were with, their lives are on the line. If I don't cooperate, okay, and if I say something to this man, that everybody's getting whacked. You know, because they had they actually were anyways. So I just had to do what I had to do, all right? So I had it in my pocket, and I was like, man, I ain't doing this shit. Fuck it, it's stupid. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to jail. And I ain't fucking going to jail for this shit, because if I'm the one that puts it in the shit, then it's on me. Let right? me interject right here. The Janice is not the first one who's ever tried to force me. <laughs> Amy tried to force me for at least two dozen times. Listen, I can smell arsenic. I can smell 20 of the most, most regular poisons. Plus, I don't eat or touch shit mm -hmm. you know this by yes. now right <laughs> if you hand me a glass yeah. at a party of wine i go thank you very much and i give it to janice and she puts it on a fucking table yes if i'm at your house and you're cooking i ain't eating no. uh, if you hand me something <laughs> to eat it, it ain't coming in my no. fucking mouth ever okay so, so let me tell them all right so oh, so i throw it in the garbage and i take it out i take the garbage out into the dumpster and i dump it all right so but so i go back up and he comes out of the room and he's like he comes out and he stands like it right there in the walkway of the kitchen and he's looking at the stove then at me it's like oh because i knew she had it i knew she fucking had it please i'm, I'm john back here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he's like, oh, so you cooked. I thought we were going to cook together. I was like, well, I was hungry and what, you know. And so, you know, I didn't make his plate. I was like, listen, you can, you know, make your own plate, whatever. Because I figured, you know, well, I'll let him do his own thing. So he was like, no, go ahead. You make it for me. So I made him the plate. And by this point, we had a dog. So he's, he's taking the noodles off the plate. And he's throwing them at the dog, right? <laughs> And he waited, like, okay, make sure she ain't foaming at the mouth, right? Yeah, because I her. know every poison, and, and just, you know, so <laughs> it was just okay, fucking so clearly the John stuff Mackin. the dog ate is not a problem. So only when the dog, after 15 minutes, had not collapsed, then he I ate. ate. Yes. yes. So please, God, <laughs> people, so I, I have been around this fucking block more times than you can goddamn count. So no. So after that failure, because you know it's a lot of time had went by, and so they're like, okay, this bitch ain't doing it. But see, for me, I, you know, I was really good at my job, so I was able to say to them, okay, listen, he's getting suspicious, right? Like you keep <laughs> calling me, you know, what I'm saying I have to talk to you, and I gotta calm you down, and I gotta do all of this shit. Like he's really suspicious. I can't keep coming out and meeting you places, right, around town here and there and shit. I mean, you're putting me on blast. They come you know? to Portland, by the way. Yeah, just the same on Miami. That's yeah. a shift, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. Oh, then there. What was it? Oh, the next bright idea was okay. We'll make us a copy of you know a key so we can get in the door. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that shit because there's records of that. Like you can like he could find that out. That's very easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. That's stupid. Next plan. Then they said okay, they wanted me to oh to park to keep our truck parked on on the street. Because they wanted to put, they wanted to put something on the car to blow the car. I, somebody said something about an explosive, and I'm like, you don't think somebody's gonna notice a fucking car exploding in motherfucking it was Portland? Just to disable Oregon? the Are car so they can fix it. No, but they said to explosive. You. I'm just saying. I just want you to understand how idiotic these ideas were that they were coming up with. Let me explain with. something. How the to fuck you. am I supposed to? I on. sleep. I sleep with a loaded, yes. chambered, on safety pistol in my fucking hand and have since I was 31 years old. I, did, I had to train myself not to pull the trigger in a dream. Why? Because most of my dreams are people shooting at me, me shooting back, all right? So, so I had to train myself. Now, if you think some fucking pimps are gonna <laughs> break into my apartment and not get blown away, I mean, seriously, people, let, let's wake the fuck up, all right? Plus, I sleep with, okay, sometimes Janice has seen me, I sleep with two pistols yes, in my hand. I've seen that. Two. One, a nine millimeter with 17 rounds, and uh, one, um, a 0.57 with armor piercing bullets with 30 rounds in the other hand. Mm -hmm. Both of them safety off, chambered, ready to blow, hair fucking triggers. Mm -hmm. Now, you tell me who. Is going to try to drag my ass out of bed. It's not happening, all right? It was intense. So this, it was a lot of back and forth, okay? And this continued. Wait, we're making him uncomfortable. Look, your size are shifting. Shut up. He's reading stuff. No, he's not. He's uncomfortable. No, no there's, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm live. He's looking, I'm looking at, at the chat. I'm looking at the chat. Why don't we, why don't we give you some want to pleasant talk about stuff? Like else? No, stuff no, we got to continue this story. No, we got to continue. I need to know about this story. If you okay, guys, so, if you guys don't tell him yes. the truth about everything, give him the facts. He's gonna be, he's gonna be on it. He's, his oh, mind's listen, probably gonna be going. It's impossible to give all the facts. You're not gonna <laughs> believe the shit in eight and a half years we've been through. Please. Okay, people. well, let's tell him about that. Okay, so, okay, we're gonna fast forward to the first major collection that they <laughs> tried to do oh, of John. Okay. Hold on, let me. Can I collect my thoughts really fast, yeah. just so I can yes, make sure on the same page of what's happening here? <laughs> all right. So they come up with all these wacky ideas and you're basically yes. saying nah these are bad ideas right mm -hmm. yes so because so she knows I, me by now she knows none of that shit's gonna, gonna work, work. And, this, <laughs> and also that there's no way for me to do it and hit, not make him and, suspicious right. you know and not make him because the whole thing was all right he want he wanted me john wanted me to stay with him and so they needed that to continue they needed for him to want me to stay around okay and right, so okay. if i was making him suspicious then that means but, that he, see, might, he might want to get rid of me all right and so I that's what they were worried about they didn't I wasn't want him suspicious. to get rid of me. i knew what the fuck was happening 
I'm not an idiot, people. Okay. <laughs> no, but I didn't John, know that. John, so I just John one more thing. Good. I have a really large 30 inch screen on my uh, that I'm screaming from. So if I look like two inches to the right, like it looks further than what's really happening. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just freaking you out, dude. But whatever. <laughs> but no. So I knew. Listen, when I started, I said I knew I'm in for a rough road. However, Janice has talents that nice. I've never seen in a woman. Yeah. Not sexual, okay? <laughs> but in every other fucking way, all right? <laughs> Listen, I, I've, actually, I've been to Bangkok a bunch of times. Oh, whatever, yes, nothing compares to a nothing Bangkok. Go. Listen, uh, no woman's got sexual <laughs> talents uh, after you've been with a Bangkok ho. So now, in any case, I'm just saying. So now, oh, goodness. however, in all the important aspects of life, what do you need good sex anywhere, dude? We all know that shit. It's unimportant, got nothing to do with relationships. What okay. does have to do, smarts, experience, the her worldview, her, her situational awareness, most important of all things. Yeah. I mean, listen, a lot of them I'll notice shit and I'll say, did you notice that? I said, yeah, the man with the white hat over there. Yeah. And the guy said, I said, yeah. Good woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm paying attention. I don't even have to always. point to him. You got the man with the white hat. Yeah. You know he's out of place. He doesn't belong here, right? Uh -huh. I wonder if it's us or if it's someone else here. That yeah. they're looking for. They're, they're, they're looking for because it's not always us. Yeah, I, so, so, no, that not always. So, so, yeah. so we go ahead and 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 these these plots are being full. What happens next? Yeah. So okay. Um, uh, yes. Portland, so this is uh, summertime. So summertime. This is about August. No, September thirteenth. I know. No, no, no. But I need oh. to tell the before. Oh, before there. that. Okay. Okay. Yes, so yes, about yes. August, our building <laughs> is sold. Yes. Yeah? So our manager, the apartment manager, she puts on everybody's door. Twenty million dollars. This building yeah. went for. Okay, okay. That management is going to be changing. That the building was sold. and management is going to be changing. Okay. And so we get the that note on the door. The very next day management has changed which and the management that comes in clearly has never managed never. a goddamn condo before i mean they're clueless no and in my clueless, experience right? i don't think that's the sort of thing that Listen, happens janice forgot to way. bring my my yes. heroin so i'm drinking you if it's, that's against the rules fuck it's you guys heroin, right? yeah. so just saying okay right. anyways <laughs> so okay New management's there. He looks sketchy, whatever. You know, he's not even doing his job. He barely comes in. You he know, comes in at 10 or 11 meeting. in the morning and yeah. leaves it to the building manager. Yes. <laughs> okay. But now also what happened was the Belizean soccer team came to play yes. soccer in Portland. There was a some sort of soccer tournament happening or whatever. And the Belizean soccer team came and played, which is extremely strange to me because of all fucking places like, <laughs> like they, they've never once played outside the country not even next door in mexico or guatemala plus it's not a professional hockey team it's made soccer. up of part-time firemen <laughs> part-time plumbers no no it's like never in the history of police has their soccer team left the country and they go from police Five thousand eight hundred miles Portland. to Portland, yeah. fucking Oregon. That's crazy. Now, to a goddamn soccer match. Mind you, okay. Now, with everything going on with my PMBS, yes, one might think that, okay, bitch. Of course, why wouldn't you know that the soccer team was there? But I actually had no idea. I had no idea what was happening. This was way above my pay grade. Okay, and so, but what I started noticing it was in our neighborhood. I start seeing Caribbean looking motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, yeah. and I'm like, this is okay, Portland, Oregon. And it's Ain't a no criminal looking motherfucker. No, not at all. I was the blackest thing in our neighborhood. Yes, okay. Absolutely. There was like, you know, it's where hippies are, right? And it, not to say that black people aren't in Portland, but they just weren't in that area where we were. Okay. So but suddenly they're everywhere. Yeah. By the way, statistically, okay, there were 47 people who came and 26 who left. <laughs> so oh, wow. the remainder stayed on the northern border. So no, continue. So um um by then we okay so I think John had went out of town before the event happened. This was the 13th of September, I believe. And the so before 13th the, is when the event happened. So yes. yes, so that weekend before the the 13th, um he was out of town and we had um 
a gentleman from a biker gang who was staying with us to kind of keep me safe because you know people were really scoping out our building you know but they were like like across the street there was this old sort of um secondhand store where they sold all sorts of shit but it would be closed you know after hours and people would be standing there looking at the window looking at the goddamn like, window at? there's nothing to look at nothing to look at i mean yeah. for an hour or sitting at the pizza shop for like hours on end just yes. sitting not eating anything caribbean looking mofos yeah so <laughs> when john comes back um our security is arrested for child abuse okay on september 13th yeah on for child abuse both of our security all right yes. well the one was arrested and the one, one i said the other was the was wife both of them were both of them were biker, gang. were biker gangsters okay wife well, i'd like yeah. to hire gangsters because Duh. they don't run <laughs> when they're shot at yeah. whereas whereas pinkerton security hide as soon as the bullets fly you shoot at a goddamn biker gang member they're gonna sh fucking get pissed off not scared mm -hmm. and they're going to shoot back so anyway so one was arrested the other left the right. other, well she was trying to get him out of jail trying so to get him out of jail allegedly. That. allegedly that was the start yeah. that was at two in the afternoon now um, at yeah. six in the afternoon i get a call from the american embassy in belize a gentleman named balthazar garcia head of security <laughs> a belizean uh, for the american embassy and a close friend of mine he said um they're going to try and pick you up tonight. I go, oh, fuck me. I, I cannot wait, he said. And it's going to be serious. I go, how serious? He goes, real serious. And he goes, uh, if I were you, I would leave. I go, no, if I leave, I'm not going to know, dude, am I? <laughs> so, so I didn't say anything to Janice. Mm -mm. No. no. At eight o'clock that night. No, after it was like eleven o'clock. We was binge no, watching. When's the guy with the flashlight? It was like eleven o'clock. Okay. We was binge watching um, Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, we were binge watching Family Guy. <laughs> and I know nothing's going to happen yes. before two a.m. Why? That's when shit goes down. I'm yes. sorry, always. So yes. I, and I'm our apartment, fine. It's eleven. Um, where our apartment was situated, situated on the corner, so we could see all the roads, right? And so. I'm looking, I look, happen to look outside and there's this gentleman there um, as standing at the light pole and he flashes Wearing a, a city flashlight. uniform, like yeah. he's repairing like a something. construction worker uh, vest. And he flashes a flashlight down our block like, four like times. That, 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 yeah, one, two, that, 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 yes. that. Okay, and so, down the fucking street. So, yeah, so that I guess was the signal, like it's on. Yeah, so right now I know. Now. Okay, so yeah, the Balthazar was right. It's going to be happening, but I didn't worry about it because nothing's happening till, well, sometimes as early as one, never before one. So I'm hanging out. Yeah, so I fell asleep. At, at quarter to one, I tell Janice, I can't sleep. I'm going to go just look out the window. So I go look out the window. Yeah, I, I open the window and I hear motorcycles, Harleys idling a couple blocks away i'm going hmm idling harley's one o'clock in the fucking morning now, that's really goddamn strange mm -hmm. so i hang there and i'm just listening at exactly two o'clock here come two police on motorcycles police motorcycles followed by a black <laughs> sedan <laughs> suv a black suv and a fucking garbage truck and they stop right in front of the fucking condo i went running in i go janice get up yeah. we're leaving now i didn't know whether she was going to follow me or not you weren't even sure were you? Yeah, no, she I thought i was sure. crazy i was like what is you talking about i'm asleep first of yeah. all <laughs> so I go, get up we're going now so we run out yeah. run down the hall Go down the stairs into the basement, not the basement, but with the car garage where they've got stacking cars. Yeah, it's like it's like on an elevator system. It's right. just two levels. There's no way out. There's no back door yeah. here. There's only the front. Yeah. So we're we're kind of trapped. But I'm never not kind trapped. of trapped. We were trapped. We were trapped. Sure. So I open. I, I turn on the light in the garbage room, and I go, "We're getting in the dumpster." And I Janice said, no, goes, the "Fuck, I'm not. I ain't getting in <laughs> that. Mm -uh, I ain't getting no." Uh, uh, well, no, mind you, mind you I, I'm still thinking he's half crazy, okay? Mm -hmm. Because he's got, he's like running around. And so I'm looking at the cameras like, oh my God, they're going to kick us out of here because they're <laughs> going to look at the security footage and see our dumb asses running back and forth in their parking garage right. in the middle of the night. Right? But however, <laughs> Janice saved our lives, okay? As you will understand yes, later. Yes. So now I go, fuck it, okay. So then I didn't get in the dumpster. We're going to climb up on the second level of yes. the, because they, 
you know, this is a place where they raise the cars and park them yeah. multiple levels. We're climbing up on the second level, hiding under a car. Mm -hmm. Then she goes, okay, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. So we climb up, get up there. hide under some car. I don't know yeah. what the fuck it was. Mm -hmm. Now we get settled. We get settled. We get settled. Now, and the lights go off. Okay, so mind now, you, the lights and the lights go out because the lights are motion sensors. Yes. The lights go out, so we're there in the dark. Yes. And I'm hearing people coming in. I'm hearing people on the mm -hmm. foot on the yeah, stairs. Um, finally, the door opens to the garage. I hear it open very quietly. The lights come on. Yep. Right. They did. Lights come on. And they stayed on. And they stayed all on all until four thirty yes. in the morning. Now, and I can, now there was nobody in there talking. You couldn't even hear them walking on the floor. You could just sort of feel you the could, movement. You of, could you of, could sense the goddamn you know, movement. Could, they were clever. So mofo. they were in there. But you could inside hear people running up and down yeah, stairs. There was a lot of commotion just in the lot. Of, so much commotion that the following day, made, they said, "What was going on last and night?" One of our right? neighbors. On you the could fourth hear day. the running up and down the stairs. Yeah. So now, and there was this thing at four thirty in the morning, the gates open. Mm -hmm. And the gates of this condo. Out. Now, mm -hmm. no one can open those goddamn oh, gates. It's four thirty in the morning, except someone with the thing. Yep. A car didn't come in. Mm -hmm. A fucking garbage truck. They came backed in. it. They backed it in a they little. They backed the and garbage they truck in. The dumpster out. They rolled the dumpster out. They dumped the dumpster. The garbage. Crushed it, it. Compressed it. Went out front. And, yeah. Now, ten minutes later, in the lobby, we hear someone go, "Fuck." Yeah, because <laughs> we're not in the dumpster, they found out we and we're in the dumpster. not in the yeah. goddamn garbage oh. truck. Yeah. Okay, and so. we wasn't in our apartment. <laughs> so now they've wasted all this time, right? Now they have to get. Now it's you know time is running out, and they're yeah, gonna have you, to leave. Listen, I, I yeah. know I know how this shit goes down. If you come up at two, if you ain't done by five in the morning, you get your yeah. fucking ass out. Why? Because there's gonna be. There's going to be people watching, mm -hmm. witnesses. Mm -hmm. So I know we're it was, safe. And it was a weekday. So now, people are going to at be 6 a.m., that motherfucker, that new yeah. building manager, manager that just started the month before yeah. when the building was instantly and spontaneously sold, so, yeah. comes in. And he comes into the basement, goes into the media room where they keep the videotapes. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're taping all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Grab some tapes and leave. Okay. Yeah. We wait another two hours, yeah. seven thirty in the morning, before I say Okay, it's safe. It's safe. Now. Yeah. it's safe. We climb down. I don't even have a goddamn shirt. By the way, the, during that night, I'm <laughs> He's dozing off and I'm shit. Dozing starting off. To what snore. the fuck, man? It's I'm like, wake up. You know, I did not loud. So, you know, I put my head against a bumper. I mean, listen, this is not my first rodeo. Okay? Listen, so, I was freaked the fuck out. She was I'm freaking out. Lie to you. I you didn't have your had... gun on you? No, 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 absolutely Damn. not. No, because you know what? I, that's what I said to him, and he was like, "No, because what if it was really the police?" You know? Yeah, but there was Just not. In case, it was but not. it wasn't. If it was really the police, I'm getting shot. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Now you realize you can get crushed in a garbage truck and survive. No one gets killed. You just get. You can't move, and then they open it, dig through it, grab your ass, and inject you with sodium pentothal and haul your ass off to Belize where they torture me to find out where I have stored those goddamn files on all of the bad behavior of the government. So now, um, so I cannot afford to get arrested. I've already been tortured once by those mofos and I'm not going to do it again in any case. So now, so eight in the morning. it's 7.30 in the morning. So yeah, we, so we go upstairs and no, no. First, before we go upstairs, we have to walk to the goddamn. No, lobby. we didn't do that first. We walked to the no, lobby. No, no, because we came back downstairs. Let me tell it, because you don't remember. Right. We went up the stairs. Okay, we went upstairs and we went into our apartment and we we're calling for our dog because we, you know, we didn't just want to walk in there just in case somebody was still in there. But she wouldn't get up. Like she was freaking out. We got out, two so fucking pit bulls yeah. and they're terrified. Yeah, the they were terrified bed. on the bed, like. Like Pit super bulls. scared. Anyway, so we grab, he's like, grab what you can grab, change our clothes, and we're leaving. Now, when we left, one of our neighbors was coming out just as we were coming to the elevator. And she was like, you know, good morning, whatever. And she, and she was like, um, you know, I was just going down to talk to the manager because there was a lot of commotion last <laughs> night. She's like, did you hear there any was. of it? She said there, there was, was just, commotion. it just sounded like a lot of people were kind of running up and down the hallway and it was just really noisy. <laughs> And so, and so we were like, yeah, no, we, we were wondering the same thing. So we go downstairs and we come out of the elevator. We're behind her and 
the manager turns around and he sees he only sees her first right <laughs> and so you know she yeah, comes right. and she's talking to him and you know and he's like oh no i didn't hear anything i didn't see you know no one reported anything whatever yeah. and then he turns back around and he sees us and the, i mean i his swear his face it, went <laughs> went white totally fucking white his, his mouth face. literally dropped the fuck yes. over like what the fuck is y'all doing still here? Yeah, right. so, like, that's right. That's literally what his face said. So, so we left, by the way, that morning yeah. at, at about eight fifteen with our dogs and what we could carry. It never went back. Yeah. For the next year, we were on the run, yeah. and uh, you're not going to believe. You're not going to simply not going to believe it. At one point, and on because they were chasing us all across America. At one point in Arizona, at one o'clock in the morning. We're on a back road in Arizona with construction, 40 mile an hour speed limit. Well, okay, well, let, let's make, to, tr to try to make this make sense of how they were following us. We didn't realize that there was a low jack on the, on the truck, okay? Low, low jack is what they use yes. to, we to know find your truck if it's yeah, yeah, stolen, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. So we didn't really realize Satellites that. go, ah, oh, it's right there. Yes. So mm -hmm. what happened was I was in California visiting my kids, and so that's where the chase started basically okay so from from california we drove to new mexico and arizona we were just driving Utah, just trying to lose them trying okay? to lose them at um, one point by the way we're doing 120 yes, miles an hour and that's when and we had dropped the truck now and we have we have rented a ford focus yeah our the security Listen. the biker lady she had came to meet us in flagstaff or that's somewhere right. outside of flagstaff we, we traded and we traded something cars. about that truck that's other yeah. finance yeah but by then it was too late there there were 50 cars yeah, they were already so, in the area yeah so we're one o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and 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 i thought we've lost them uh -huh. the biker lady thought we've lost them uh -huh. now the biker lady was driving. She was driving. This is not and one o'clock in the morning. This was it, it was it was, it was in the dark, evening. Honey. Now it was dark, but it was it was um, whatever the time evening. Was. Doesn't matter. But so, um so Jana said listen, John, I want because, you to drive. Okay, when we swapped cars, we swapped cars in the, in a Walmart parking lot. Okay. And so uh, you know we're driving calmly driving just trying to figure out where we're gonna go. All right. But we're not too far from that Walmart where we swap cars. Okay. So I'm still watching. I'm still paying attention. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm seeing cars getting behind us or following us. And I'm like, listen, they're still watching us. They're still on us, you guys. And they're like, no, nah, you tripping. Just calm down. Yeah, relax. I'm saying, no, they're, they're not. They're and not. he got the bitch driving, right? So I was like, listen, I will shut up if you take the wheel, John. Like, if you, if you drive, I won't say nothing else, all right? Everything's cool. So he gets over and he's driving. And so... Um, we're on E, right? So we, we're on E. On we're, we're right there passing a the gas station. I'm like, you might want to get some gas. I said, you might want to get some gas. He's like, no, we're cool. We'll get it later. I'm like, listen, man, this white truck right here has been following us. I've seen it earlier today. I said, let's get some gas before we, you know, take this next journey. And he was like, no, nah, it's cool. We'll be all right. I was like, okay, cool. But if this white truck's turn when we turn, then you're going to know that what I'm and, saying and it is the truth. It did. Now <laughs> it's, it's on it our did. tail, okay? Yes. So I go, Okay, well, it's a Ford 150. I've had Ford 150s. They're top heavy. So it's not 40 mile an hour speed limit. That's been up to 60. It's been up to 60. It's still on my tail. 70, it's on my tail. 80, it's on my tail. 90, 120 miles an hour. That fucking truck is on our tail. Now, we're in a Ford Focus very low. First of all, I thought, God damn, I had no idea this car would go that fast. <laughs> no, so Me either. We went across a bridge. Where we didn't. Did, did you get gas? Did you get gas? No. 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 So we're uh, on E no, doing we're on this empty, shit. Okay. Being chased at 120 <laughs> miles an hour by. And the red lights on. You know it's so, serious when the red no. light is on. So right? Because you this, gonna only run on, this is only about a 15 minute chase, maybe 20 <laughs> max, 15. So now we went across a goddamn bridge yeah. where the tires, I've yeah. never experienced this before. This They're crazy. going, bzz, 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 because the yeah. bridge is like this and we're in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> at 120. <laughs> So I'm thinking, those poor mofos in that goddamn they truck have got to be terrified. And I know they're thinking, Jose, Jose, we're going to die. It ain't worth your money. Jose, we're going to die. Yeah. So 15 <laughs> minutes later. After that, yeah, they slowed down. That fucking truck disappeared yeah, in the they background. Just, yeah, they now, just slowed if down. If you've never gone up against a car doing 40 when you're doing 120, you're closing at 80 miles an hour. 
And it's the it's spookiest freaky. thing you can and the, and the bitch was freaking out. She was, and I'm the bitch like, is freaking I'm out. Like, Thank God she wasn't driving. We would have been dead. Yeah, now, man. So. She was making me nervous. I'm like, listen, just shut up because you're going to distract him. And then he's going to hit something. And then we're going to yes. roll. And we're all dead, bitch. Yes. Like, just so, calm down. He got this. So <laughs> now we do make it to another town. But we're now. I know I'm fucking cute. Yeah. So. We so have we to, to gas stop. up, unfortunately. Yeah. But we, we, listen, he kept it floored the whole way to we no, got I to kept that it, next No, I did 120 so all the way, way to the next fucking town. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Passing, I, I know we freaks the yeah. shit. Uh, can you imagine you're driving on a road that's got construction on it at 40 miles an hour? And a car passes you at 120. Yeah. No, I mean I can see the cars going. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. And we the think police. about it. Yes, in the in awesome. Fucking, listen, car, I could do a Ford way. Focus commercial better <laughs> than any man on this goddamn planet. If they had any sense, they'd go, "Hey, well, listen, do it for a, a fucking commercial for us." Because <laughs> I'm, I'm telling Jens when we finally got down to. Fuck, can you believe this car yeah. hit that shit? Because it was as fast as it would go. Yes. I mean, I, my, it go my no foot further. was at the floorboard trying to push it through <laughs> the fucking floorboard. My, my, ex, had a, my ex had a full 124. Okay. It had, a, had 125 on the speedometer. Yeah. I was Only right, at, right, at, right at 125. Yeah. I'm going, God damn it. This is, fuck me. <laughs> this is a good car, right? So, yeah. so next town, Unfortunately, by then we gassed up. It takes yeah. a while to gas up a yeah. goddamn car. I don't care how quick you are. But but the good thing about it was that no, they hadn't radioed ahead because we didn't see anybody coming, you know, to see following us or anything. However, the yeah. following. Okay, now these people are tricky as fuck. Mm -hmm. So now this is now it's in the morning, honey. It's what he's no, it was still nighttime. Hush, okay. Fuck me, story. it's nighttime. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> it was still nighttime. It was still one o'clock in the morning. It's nighttime. No, 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 it wasn't that late. That uh, who gives a fuck what time it is? It wasn't it's that night late. It was like <laughs> it, listen, it was like nine or ten o'clock. Okay, okay, it was like nine or ten o'clock. And so we get the gas and we're trying to figure out where we how we're gonna leave town. So we leave town going. I'm not sure, going in one direction, but it was so pitch black dark that we was like, no, nah, we're not going the rest of that way because ain't no telling what we're going to meet, okay? So, we turned, so back. we turned back and we went back by the same gas station. We took another road out of town, okay? And so I'm telling him, come on, like, hit the gas. Like, let's get the fuck up out of here. He's like, no, calm down, chill. You know, we're going to no, slowly drive no, out of town. Slow. No, okay? there, was, there was a road repair truck. Yes. There's no road repair anywhere. Nearby. Yeah, one of those construction trucks. That as soon as we, after got gas pulled onto that road the freeway mm -hmm. heading north to, it yeah. turned immediately to and follow got behind us, us. And that's behind when janice says give it the gases yeah yeah, yeah. Ah, i did yeah i did not. i was freaking so out so i drove like like a hundred year old man about mm -hmm. 20 miles an hour in a 60 mile an hour zone yes. <laughs> so that truck followed us for what for maybe three bit. blocks and then they go for like a him so they turned around and went the other yes. way. Oh, oh, I have to tell you this part of the story, okay? Because mind you, I'm black, he's white, and we can be spotted anywhere, yes? So at some <laughs> juncture, after we switched cars, before this chase happened, I don't even know. I had, um, a okay. Burka. I bought a, I had got a burka because we were talking about before Portland, <laughs> before this incident even happened, right? We was just talking about like, well, what will happen? Like in case somebody tried to collect us or whatever, I'm like, I'm still black. I can't disguise myself. So he's like, get a burka. So I had actually had the burka with me, right? So we find that fucking burka. I think I got it online, but <laughs> we did not but, get it online. Yes, I did. We didn't buy it somewhere in, in How did Amazon. It was on. No, be, no, before we, no, I said this part before okay. this before portland even happened be remember before they even collected you we're still in our apartment in portland you're right we, we did have i, I planned to have we're going to yes i do that sometimes yes you're right <laughs> because we were talking about you know how am i going to disguise myself because Burker. i'm you know so we have the burger and so that's why they didn't you know they followed us only so far because yeah, yeah that's a muslim bitch yeah. and some, <laughs> mus some muslim guy and i've got a muslim beard don't i right i look like someone going bitch don't take that thing off, right? So now. Yeah, it was hot under there. I don't know but, how to like But I remember this much. We stopped the following day. Yes. At some local <laughs> store. And in I Arizona, had the burka. In Arizona. On. She's funny. wearing the burka with the thing. <laughs> she and I had come in. Everybody in the store stopped frozen in their tracks. <laughs> this is Arizona. You don't see shit like no. that. No. It's hot Arizona. over there, too. 
Yeah, it was super hot under so, that thing. So, <laughs> so we walked in and people were picking frozen in their goddamn tracks. Yes. Even their eyes were not moving. It's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, don't yeah. remember what yeah. I don't remember what we bought. We bought something <laughs> and left. I go, you know what? We made those people's day. <laughs> <laughs> That's just one. Yeah. Let me tell you another. This was my most fun. Okay, I don't even know where this was. This is somewhere else. I always saw that again, I think. On the Which fucking way? two lane, one lane bridge. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. now I made the mistake. I'll never do this. People, anybody who's on the run, listen to me. You think, well, let's get off of the freeway. No, and don't do that. Back. <laughs> never, ever do that. Mm -hmm. uh, not if you've got a cell phone or a car that was made. Uh, you know, after 2009, that's got low jet. No, never. So I go, listen, because we've been chasing on the freeway. Someone tried to shoot us with a 50 cal, hit the bumper of a goddamn semi right in front of us. And it, it, I've never heard a sound like that. A 50 cal of a ricochet. <laughs> Janice goes, what was that? Crazy. <laughs> what was that? And there was a Jeep up in that field, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. About a quarter of a mile away. Yes. And it doesn't matter. Fuck but that shit. A lot so of it, intense situations. A lot of intense. Yeah. But hell, this one was this seriously one was intense. He liked it. So now, <laughs> we're I go. We're getting off the goddamn freeway. Yes. I think it was right after they tried to shoot us at fifty kilo, yes. right? So we get off. We're on the back goddamn road. Mm -hmm. I mean, a back road. We haven't seen a single car coming this way. We're on the road for maybe an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. We come around a curve, and a quarter of a mile away down in the valley, there's a one lane bridge. There are two cars mm -hmm. on the one lane bridge stopped. Yeah. I slam on the fucking brake, grab, grab my Caltech 12 gauge, jump out and look behind me. Because mm -hmm. there's someone trying to stop me here, there's someone coming behind yeah. me. That that's a fucking fact, okay? Yeah. There's a standoff for maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Finally, the car slowly. They probably called to me, hey, hey, the dude ain't coming. What I'm going to mm -hmm. fucking do? It's got a shotgun pointing the other way. Yeah. Okay. Whatever firearms they had, they're not going to shoot me a quarter of a mile away. It's not happening, all right? You don't carry 50 kills in small cars. So, yeah. no. So, they slowly move out the bridge. I jump in the truck. I slam the gas. Mm -hmm. I go shooting down the side of this mountain. Cross that bridge at 60 miles an hour. Past the first car, the back car. The front car pulls in front. Yeah, really quickly, like it's gonna. Very quickly, like I want to stop your ass. I go, no, I don't think so. I'm in a, I'm in a Dodge, yeah. <laughs> lifted, <laughs> 1500. The motherfucker weighs four tons. Um, so at the very last, because I'm listen, I, I know we're dead if they catch us. Yeah. So I'm might as well just run this mofo over. So at the very last second, he squeech over. I barely miss his ass, and we go on by. Yeah. Now, from that moment, we're in a 30-mile-an-hour zone. I average at least 80. Mm -hmm. I'm a good driver. Yes, he is a good driver, actually. An hour later, we pass a man with a Jeep. <laughs> he was gone. It was a pickup. It was a pickup. Yeah, it was a pickup. Well, it was a pickup. Yeah. That's true. It was blue. Blue Remember, pickup. He's got a blanket mm -hmm. on the on his hood, and an AR-15 unassembled. Yeah, he was assembling. Unassembled, yeah. which he's fucking assembling, right? So and we, pass we by slam him. by. <laughs> as we come by, he he's goes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. What? Like, what are you doing here so fast? Because <laughs> they did not anticipate how fast. Like, so that's the last time. That was we intense. got off road. Yeah. Now, sometimes we have fun with these mofos. Like yeah. a month or two later, we're in Indiana or somewhere yeah, in Indiana. That was fun. <laughs> um, and we check into a motel. Mind you, we're just driving at this point. At we're this randomly point, driving. We never spend more than one night in any yeah. town anywhere in America. All right. So we drive into yeah. town. Four hours later, because I'm, I'm always watching. I'm always watching out the window. Yeah. A goddamn brand new yellow Hummer with no license plate front or back drives in, pulls back so that the back end of the truck is three inches from the goddamn building. I mean, he had to drive over the fucking curb. 
to do it. Yeah, he was parked. Why? He was parked near our truck next Why? to. Why? Because you you yeah. don't have to have a license plate on the front on the front in all states, but you have got to have one on the on back. The back. Yeah. yeah. So they went in the front. I snuck out the back. I went and looked. There's no license plate on the back. Yes. Yeah, so I went back, back and said, Janice, back your goddamn bags. Yeah, we're heading yeah. out the back. As they were checking in, we left. Okay. So now, and by the way, the people, there were four men, obviously ex-military mofos of serious stature, okay? So we leave, get on the freeway. I dial 911. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm such a coward, but I was staying at the, whatever the name of that fucking yeah. hotel was. It's a small town in Indiana. Yeah. And, and as, as my wife and I were leaving, I'm, oh, I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so sorry. As my wife and I were leaving, we heard a woman in the back going, help, help me, help. But, but I didn't help. I, I didn't know what to do. I was so afraid. So we just left. <laughs> yes. Yes. The word from them, you did the right thing, sir. <laughs> you did the real sir. Now, those poor mofos, can you imagine? They got no goddamn license tag. Probably a stolen fucking car. You know, they had a hard fucking week. Right? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so let's yeah, let's fun. let's jump to the part of the story. You said you went down. Uh, we we finally got gas. You decided not to go, and I guess that leads to the story with the one lane bridge. Yeah. No, that was before that. I think wasn't it? Yeah, it was in. A I think that was a, 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 a week or two before. Yeah. Listen, oh, that was a week or two before. listen, we've got a thousand stories. They all fold into each other. <laughs> I wish we could just. So, that was okay. So that was before <laughs> this chase, before the hundred mile an hour chase. The bridge what? happened. No, no, this is in the Indiana, bridge. baby. No, I'm not talking about not the Indiana situation, the hotel. That's not what he was asking about. He's oh, yeah, that, about right. The, the bridge happened the before the hundred the, mile yeah. an hour chase. Yes. So then, yes. what happened after y'all got gas? Y'all got gas. Then y'all okay. went to after go. That, that is dark oh, road. Now, now listen to this. Going. Okay. Yeah. So we switch back and we go. We go a different way. And so this. It's eighty right, miles to the freeway yes. forty. Okay. Still in the focus. Forty. Yeah, still, still in, the, in focus. the focus. So we're still driving. In the fucking focus, yes. We're driving leisurely out of town, and that's with the lady this, in um, the back. Yes, yes. who's freaking yes. out? Yes. Who's supposed to be a goddamn yes. bodyguard? Yes. She's a biker word. bitch yes. who's been through everything. Yes. All right, she's supposed to be and tough. she's pissing herself in the goddamn <laughs> back seat. Okay, so <laughs> this truck is behind us with their, you know, with the flashing construction lights. Okay? Yeah, the, and they followed us for about a good 10 minutes, and then they figured it would be And then they go, because we, I, so, I didn't go more than 20 miles yeah. an hour. Now well, I've been doing 100, 120, yeah. so I can't, we can't be those people. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, obviously some old, yeah. old man driving along at 20 miles an hour <laughs> in a 60 okay. miles an hour. So fast forward. <laughs> anyway, so we get out of town. We'd make it to the highway. Uh, and... Wait, before we made it to the highway, before, 20 miles before the interstate. There was another car. There's yes, a car the in the fucking middle. And this was a goddamn Jeep, baby. This, yes. It was a Jeep. Yes. In, this is now late at night. This is at least mm -hmm. 10 or 11. 10 or 11, yes, baby. Parked yes. in the middle between the two lanes. Couldn't see a gun, couldn't see anything. Just parked there. Just What's the there, flying yeah. fuck? I know. And and you could see the dude looking at yeah. us carefully. And it's a quiet. I mean, it's a major road to the highway, to but the highway. it's late at night, it's so a there's not a lot highway. of traffic. Divided highway, highway heading up yeah. to the interstate. Yeah. But anyway, so what the fuck is he doing there? Not that he was involved. But, but we what were the still. Fuck but we were still driving night. at a cautious speed. At so very fifty-five miles were, an hour in a sixty-mile-an-hour zone. Yes. <laughs> Rather so, okay, than now 120. Let's tell them about this part. Okay, so let's fast forward and let's fast get there. Forward. Okay, so we drive, we ended up driving to New Mexico. How'd you get past that guy? You just drove past him? We just kept driving, yeah. Okay, okay, we're doing okay, 55, gotcha. hang on. Keep in mind, the people chasing us that he's doing 120 miles an hour. Yeah, they're expecting right. us to be They're know, expecting us to be okay. running, running from people. Yeah. We're doing you. less than speed limit from this yeah. point on. Yes. <laughs> I got you. Right? I got you. Cool. Okay. And so, and it's all, yeah. listen, it's it's all psychological. It's all psychological. Yes, it's all it psychological. Is, actually. Dude, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. And so it's all, um, we drove all night and we drove to New Mexico. Oh. Okay. And um, yeah. we went to the airport. And we were we were gonna fly. We were separating from the bitch because it was clear she couldn't she couldn't cut the mustard. Yeah, 
And so <laughs> we call that, baby. so we call his um his security, his main security, a gentleman, and we call him, he's the one who has who we left the truck with back in Flagstaff. So and so and so we call him. You can't have your security following you and shit like this. No, no, no. no security in the road 120 miles Hush. an hour. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. He was with the truck trying to figure out what was going on with the truck, how they were fucking following us. Okay. So he figured out it was a low jack. And so by then, by the time we got to New Mexico, we called him and actually on route, we told him that we're going to go to New Mexico and try to catch a flight, go to the airport. All right. So he drove, he drove from Flagstaff to meet us in Texas now. Okay. He's meeting us in Texas because we were going to fly to Texas. Yeah. Okay. So we get to the airport, right? Or we get on the plane. I don't know how, when we, I don't know. I don't remember when we realized these people were, were with the shit. Yeah, but, they were with um, the shit then. But clearly were they, they were. First of all, yeah. they were, they were Belizean Mexican. I couldn't tell which. Mm-hmm. They were two, one seat behind us, one seat one over seat. and two seats in front. Mm-hmm. So here's how I like to work. Like, fuck me. I ain't running if you're surrounded. If I'm surrounded, if mm-hmm. I can't get through you, I ain't running. So I unbuckled, once we got in there, I unbuckled yeah. my belt. And I went and, because they had one guy by himself, then two guys here, then two guys here. So I went, unbuckled my belt, went and sat next to this mofo. Put my arm around, whoops, mm-hmm. put my arm around him and said, do you think you're going to survive this life? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's looking at the guy over here, and the guy over there is going, like don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. So we were arrested, by the way. No, we weren't arrested. Don't be dramatic. We what weren't happened? arrested. We got thrown in police cars. <laughs> no, we did. Okay, but we weren't we got arrested. Thrown in police cars. Hush, let me tell then. Okay. So I think how they figured well, whatever. That get thrown matter. in the goddamn so police car, you're arrested. We That's did not get arrested. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, so the guy, so the guy, he he tells the flight attendant, like, this guy is crazy. He's harassing me, whatever. Yeah, because so he's John, scared now. Because so I'm going, I'm tell, going, I don't think you're gonna yes. survive this life, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was seriously fucking with this dude. I was so okay. fucking with him psychologically. <laughs> That, that he got up and, and he told called the, the, the flight attendant, and the police, yes. please remove this man. Yes. So when we get, to, so when we get to the, when we get, um, when we get to the, when we, when we land and we're there at the terminal, he goes up to the front. the The flight attendant asks us to stay seated in our seats. Okay. Yes. And so John is explaining his situation. He's telling her, you know, giving her a quick rundown of his whole Belizean situation and why he was talking to this man the way they was talking to the man. So they bring the police on on the on the flight and the police <laughs> escort us. No, they didn't arrest us. They were there. I don't know if they believed they him or not. Separated us no, in two separate not. police cars. You just stop being so dramatic for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus. So anyways, what happened was, my darling, when they didn't arrest us, I guess they believed what he was saying, or maybe they just was, you know, he's an old man, whatever, right? Yeah, so they they took us out, instead of taking us through the airport, they took us out where yes. the planes are, and they had two cop cars there. And so they did actually separate us. We weren't under arrest. They took us right to the, um, it was a Marriott right across the road from the airport. Mm. <laughs> they took us to the Marriott. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Okay, you're okay. right. I'm sorry. See, so we were dramatic. not arrested. No, we, we were arrested. escorted in separate cars. Yes. Why in separate police, cars? I don't know. Well, by police scared. who were extraordinarily skeptical and turning around looking at me like is he going to try to kill us or I what? I think they might have been worried about me. Like, maybe maybe he needs help from her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Black woman and old white man. Yes, he's <laughs> trying to kill his ass. Whatever. But we yeah. get, now, this is where it gets intense, yeah. people. So now, now, we now we're there. Now, now we we're there. <laughs> now we're we, there. We had to stay there for we're a few the days waiting for his security to get from to, to get Arizona, from Arizona to, to where we are. Yeah. So we're there all night. Uh, no, we were there like two days. I think maybe three. One days. day, baby. No, two days. One. It was two days for sure. Whatever. Because he had to shave, actually. You're right. Okay. So now, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So now, while we're there, I can recognize mofos after me a mile away. And we so, still had our phones on us, and he had yes, to call we had the security, and we had to call people. It's that a balance. Us. It's yeah. a balance. You throw your phones away, you can't communicate with security. Yeah. You keep your security, they can track you through your fucking phones. Yeah. I'd rather keep in touch with my security. Mm-hmm. So now, at that point, yes. So now it's pretty clear we're goddamn surrounded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 
on the morning our security gets there with the truck. Now we're back in, we'll be back in the truck, yes. which thank because God, he worked out the low jack fucking situation. goddamn focus. Yeah. All right, so now, um, so I tell Janice, now Janice has never seen me without my beard. Yeah, <laughs> so he's I, shaved. You and, will not recognize me people oh without gosh. this. Uh-uh. And I cut my hair. Yeah, dyed it. He dyed, dyed it. My, it. Dyed my hair, cut it, shaved my beard. And we went now, out separately. I went out went first. Went out separately. I went down first. So no, now, I went to, No, yes, he went down first. I went down first. Now, and then I came in the first. lobby, I see obvious ex-military people. An older man, clearly an ex-goddamn colonel or something. So I go up to the fireplace. And I go, hi, y'all. This is, I've never been in New Mexico before. Isn't this fucking wonderful? And they're trying to get rid of my ass. <laughs> so they go, uh, they're trying to, they're, they're, we don't know this book. No, y'all, where y'all from? Where y'all from? Because this is, I'm from Tennessee. God damn, I never seen anything like this country. <laughs> so now, Act why? Yeah. Why? Because they were looking for him, and they they're looking, looking for, for John so Macri. I don't want them looking yes. at me. No. So when I come down, all eyes are on me, right? Yeah. And where all is, eyes are on Where's her. John? We know he's going to show up. And I didn't have the burqa on because there was no point of wearing right. the burqa. So I knew they'd recognize Janice. Yeah, of course. They had to recognize Janice, right? Mm-hmm. But I listen. When I shave my goddamn no, beard, no, the he time looks I, completely you are different. not yeah. so completely Jana, different. When I came out of the bathroom, Janice goes. <gasps> <laughs> you did, baby. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, you're I was uh, trying not to show, but I'll no, say, oh, like, oh, who the fuck strange. are you? Right? <laughs> it is, it is so strange. now, but I wanted to go down because I to knew see. they'd see Janice. Yeah. I can't hide her color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I wish you could. Oh, yes. I mean, when in situations, can't. Mm-hmm. So, and we're leaving in the fucking yes. truck. In this, yes. And they know the goddamn they know truck. Our truck. They know me. Yeah. They know her, right? So clearly, I ain't John McAfee. Right? <laughs> Whoever I am, I'm an annoying mofo. Yeah. But when she comes down and John Poole gets there, we hop in yeah, the truck. Yeah, I hop in the truck. Do but they he leave? Get, he didn't get no! in with me, though. But you didn't, he didn't get in with me. I went and I got in the truck first. And then John waited a little bit. And then he came and got in the truck. No. And we left. And no. they actually did not follow us. They so did not follow us. They just sat there. Okay. It was three days before they fucking caught up mm-hmm. with us again. Yeah. Three fucking days. Why? That was the tightest we ever. No, no it, it took it took me a month before I looked like myself yeah, again. Two rough. months, maybe. <laughs> and I appreciate you dealing with that shit, baby. You can't just say. No, it was cool. I look so dorky without my my coat. <laughs> Seriously, people, you would not pay it. You wouldn't want to spend a second with me. I, I look goofy. But then again, so. <laughs> so that was so, intense. So we got out of that situation. We got and out we of went that and situation. Hit out at but his, three um, days later, they caught up with us again. No, we went and hit out at his. Um, after Place. that, we went and hit out at the, at his security's house for yeah. a few months. For actually. a few months, my head of security lived way back in the sticks yeah. in Tennessee. No, but, okay, somewhere where somebody that looked like me and you ain't got no business. Never, being, okay, never, <laughs> never, never, never seen <laughs> like a black that woman. kind of sticks. Okay? Never seen a black no woman, and they know every goddamn out. stranger <laughs> in the world. So, yeah. so we went and listened. So we were pretty safe. I mean, they was, hey. There's a blue Ford here. I've never yeah, seen that was, fucking Ford. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? You better stay indoors. No, I mean, we were safe for at least five yeah. months. Uh-huh. Anyway, it, we could go on we forever, go on but unfortunately, stories. people, we've used up to uh, all of your time. I know we've just been monopolizing. Oh, this was Wait, I know. I and you haven't even asked a single fucking question. I, I got, I only got <laughs> one question. What's that? I only got one question. Right. Yes. This is this is going back to the very beginning of this conversation. Oh. And and this is for all men listening, right? Because I know oh. the answer to this is going to be epic, and I know I'm gonna learn something from this. How does a man, wife, or ex prostitute, and not feel insecure about that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, insecure. A lot of a lot of men in the, in the no, that's, that's true. I, I manosphere I would say like, "Oh my God, I can't. I would never do that." Right. So, so what makes you so secure that you know that doesn't hurt past doesn't bother you? Secure about what? Secure? She's not going to fuck another man. I don't give a flying fuck. Why the fuck would I care who my wife fucks? Do you understand? That's zero importance. 
What's mm. important is, does the bitch have my back? Yes. Well, but first of all, wait, that's not exactly true. Because if I was fucking someone, you would need to know that. Why? Right. I want to know who it is. Because I mean, if it's truth, this or truth. that, I'm going, hey, bitch, listen, you, you're being stupid. That motherfucker is CIA. All right. I need to know that much. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, fuck it. Not CAA and not someone after me. Oh, fuck it. Have fun. Because that has got nothing to do with security. Security has to do with the following. When the goddamn bullets fly, does the bitch have your back? Uh -huh. When things get tough, can you rely on the bitch to carry her weight? Uh -huh. When you are acting stupid and drinking too much, can you rely on the bitch to observe your fucking environment? Uh, and is she your friend? Because if she's your friend, well, do you flying fuck care what your friends do? Seriously, people, wake the fuck up. You're, you're, you're talking about this thing called lust, love, possession. You can't possess another person. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be fun i mean like <laughs> 200 years ago you could but even then you couldn't no you can't possess anyone you're lucky to possess yourself oh. only one in a thousand ever reaches that most oh. people are just floating through life clueless my friend uh, that's damn. the only answer i can give you that's deep <laughs> that's deep i hope y'all painted <laughs> I got a quick question for Janice. Yes. Uh oh. So Janice, you you came from the streets. You're ride or die, like straight up ride yeah, or die, like course. like OG ride or die. What mm -hmm. made you see this man that is completely different from you and know that he was the one? Uh, you know, I I don't think I could. I don't think I would say it like that. That, that I knew he was the one. Um just from from the road trip like i'm just getting back to that for me like the road trip like when i talked to him about it he don't even remember most of it like he remembers remember certain things but for me that was such a pivotal moment for me of getting to know him like i just liked being with him he was a cool dude he got me he understood things that i didn't have to speak to him about you know what i'm saying and i was able to kind of just slide into his situation and I was you know I was kind of at home you know I was you know I was in my element I could do you know I could be what he needed me to be and it felt good to be needed you know but um I wouldn't say that there was a moment where I thought like hey I think I could really be with him forever it was kind of um over time over time just a lot of situations time. yeah over time a lot of time no. just the fact that he 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 had my back, you know, like, okay, with the situation with the pimp, you know, mm -hmm. all of that shit that was going on. He never once treated me differently. He never once, I mean, we had fights and arguments, but never about what we should have been fighting about, you know, just about stupid little shit. Stupid you know shit, what I'm saying? like tattooing eyebrows. Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Like, this was so fucking stupid. And I'm like, God, are you really tripping about some fucking eyebrows? Listen, I still don't have eyebrows. Let me tell you what I did for this motherfucker, okay? Because he was tripping so hard about the eyebrows. I don't even know why he was. And it didn't even come out that great. So I was pissed off because it didn't come out that great. And so now I'm like, great. Now he's going to be like, see, I told your ass and I didn't want to hear it. So I ended up just going in the bathroom, like trying to scrape it the fuck off now because it's like, it looks stupid because <laughs> it was a Listen, stupid hang on, fight. Hang on. I'm sorry. Such a major I, I stop at fight. face tattoos. Why you can't remove the goddamn I things? need eyebrows. Look at this shit. Okay. She has eyebrows. You come know what? On. You know what, John? I, I actually agree with, I I agree with Janice. Women, we need to feel, we want to feel good about ourselves. Like even we're not doing this shit for you. We're doing it for ourselves because yes. we want to, we want to look beautiful. We want to feel sexy. So I'm with the eyebrows. But I think what if I tattoo a tear under my yeah, eye because the same I'm unhappy? Shit that you said. How the that's fuck do you argue with that's, that? That's, How do you that's, argue with that? But it's it's kind of <laughs> different though, because you're talking about eyebrows. And if you really wanted to, you could cover if it's a tattoo, you could cover it up. Oh no, but it's but it's but it's tattooing the face, yeah. It's tattooing the face. Oh my god. Tattoo. That's I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm a conservative motherfucker. Drop. I'm an old-fashioned, old-school dude. So we don't to tattoo say, the don't face. No I'm sorry. No, that's I, not what it was. I think he thought I was doing it for my pimp or something. 
listen, I would not have bothered me. That would not. I'm just saying, I'm old school. I'm <laughs> sorry. We don't tattoo faces in the old school. We tat. Listen, I got more tats than you do. I promise you. All okay. right. So I got no problem with fucking tattoos, but not the face. It was just That's the all face. I'm saying. Okay. Mm. Not Whatever. the face. <laughs> You know, it was just. You know. I've just now I have admitted my right. my conservative yeah, fucking which listen nature. You you would right? be really surprised. I should be a goddamn He's Republican. Very conservative. He's What's super that? Super conservative. He's super I am cautious super conservative. about not breaking the law. He's super fucking square. Duh. For being John McAfee, he's super fucking square. God damn it! I've been in jail twenty one times. Of course, I don't want to break the fucking law. I mean, good I know, God Almighty! We're talking about smoking not? weed. Like, do you know? Okay, even that was an issue. Let's talk about that because that was fucking what? hilarious when what? we were first together. Like, he didn't even want me smoking weed because he was like, "Listen, if they come up in the house and they find it, it's not exactly legal." And so I would. Have to, sneak, Portland, I used to have people. to sneak. I used to have to sneak my weed and smoke it. All right, one California was too. wasn't New York, wasn't my. It was fucking Oregon, for God's sake. All right, the same. So now, <laughs> let's let's make all of life fucking relative. If we can, all right. Now and and we never even talked about the uh, interesting shit. Like what? Well, the interesting stuff. We talked no, about next the time. Stuff. What what interesting <laughs> stuff? What what, yeah. what interesting stuff? We got time. I got time. I don't got another conversation until five o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We got another. What got time another is it hour. there now, by? Where are you, mofos? I'm in Jersey. I'm Jersey. Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. And Los Angeles. Yeah. That's kind of my area. I'm Jersey. from the Bay area. I got another state. hour. I got another hour and twenty minutes to, before my next it's call. What, 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 what you, what yes, you had on your mind? Stage. It's near New York or something. <laughs> <laughs> Do I've you want to share it. the interesting thing? Does they have any towns or cities in it? Jersey? Shut up. <laughs> no, they don't. They, they, they don't. <laughs> Jersey's trash. I'll be the first one to tell you. The most interesting <laughs> shit that we have had to deal with is the past goddamn year. Yeah. yeah. Really? No, seriously. Well, since we had to leave America. How? Y'all just ran from the cartel. America. The no, they, they, they not Listen, that's, that is baby, baby... Uh, uh, playground shit. Yeah, no, no. no, we had some serious intense shit this past mm. fucking year. Well, I mean, we had, okay, tell. We'll start from where we had to leave America. We had to leave America. So now, all right. So, <sighs> fuck me. All right. So now, yeah, I went to Wiki. I, I, I have not paid taxes. Else. I have not. I've refused <laughs> to pay taxes for eleven years. I've already paid fifty fucking million dollars in taxes, and people. I promise you. I have not received <laughs> uh, fifty million dollars in services, so I stopped paying it. Um, first of all, it's unconstitutional uh, and illegal. It's theft in America, just by our constitution. So I stopped every year. I sent the IRS a note. Uh, the first two years by e by mail, the rest of the time by email. John McAfee, I'm not filing a tax return. You know where I live. For Eight years, they left me alone. I've already paid fifty million dollars. Plus, I'm a loudmouth motherfucker. Do you want to? Do you want to get me involved in a public dispute with the art? Fuck no. Okay, they left me alone. Two years ago, <laughs> with Janice, mm -hmm. I started going on international stages: Beijing, Stockholm, London, Bucharest, telling people. You don't want to pay taxes? Here's how you do it. <laughs> um, Use crypto. Yeah. You well, no, <laughs> not just crypto. <laughs> privacy Use coins. privacy coins and distributed exchanges. No fucking government in the world will know what money you have. Now you got to figure out how to live. Make your money through crypto like I do. We don't have, we don't have a goddamn bank account. We don't have a credit card, do we? Nothing. Nothing. We don't need it. We're purely crypto. So I go on an international stage to tell him, you want to live like me? Here's how you do it. Well, that pissed off uh, both the, the IRS SEC. and the SEC. Yeah. Now, the SEC struck first. I was the CEO of MGT, the sixth largest Bitcoin mining company in the world. They filed a subpoena against the company, not against me, not against, but about an, a, an ex- Stockholder. Now, the law says the following. 
if the SEC files a subpoena, you must make public the fact that you've been subpoenaed. You may not say what it's about. Our stock went from a market cap of $800 million to three. Overnight. Overnight. And the New York Stock Exchange two days later delisted us, which made the rest of the stock totally fucking worthless. So I resigned and apologized. Um, then um, still get death threats from that though. Pardon? <laughs> from the people that lost money on that. He still yeah, is. got a bunch of death yeah. threats from that shit. I don't blame them really, but it wasn't my fault. In any case, so no. January the 22nd, the IRS convened a grand jury to charge Janice, myself, and four. Four, four of our employees with tax fraud. Now <laughs> we we haven't mm -hmm. filed taxes for yeah. 11 years. <laughs> you can't commit fraud, which if is lying on your tax return, if you haven't filed a <laughs> fucking return. Nevertheless, the government always wins these cases. 99% of the time, if a grand jury is convened, you go to prison. Yeah. So we left. I heard about it in advance because the day after the grand jury, they raid your apartment, your house at 6 a.m., arrest you, and you're never seen again. So I found out about it a week before. Four days before, we went to Miami, grabbed our yacht, went to, went to the Bahamas. Why? The Bahamas has no income tax. Which we were all surprised, first of all, that the boat actually existed and that it was there and ready to go. Yep. That's a whole other fucking story. Well, first of all, no one <laughs> knew about the goddamn boat. Why? I'm not a stupid motherfucker. So no. So we went to the Bahamas, which has no income tax. Therefore, we can't be extradited. Because international law says, if you are charged with a crime, which is not a crime in the country that you're in... <laughs> You can't be extradited. For example, the reason for that is that Muslim women who escape to America and they're charged with not wearing a face covering to cover their face, a burqa. Well, that's not a crime in America. We're not going to send your ass back just because you can be stoned to death in that country. No. So that's why. However, I knew that was going to be temporary. We were there for four. Oh, can I tell them about the stop? We made, before we got to, um, <laughs> before we got to uh, what, Exuma, we stopped in Bimini, yeah? <laughs> and so us, you know, John being John, yeah? we bring all the guns, right? No, 30, yeah. 30 guns, yeah? 30 <laughs> military style weapons. On all the kinds of front. different fucking guns. You yeah? fucking name it, we had it, okay? <laughs> no. So, so we have to we have to do the customs, you know, where they come and declare and we your things. Yeah. Trying to hide anything. So they come on the boat. They're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, they're literally their faces are no, like, "Are you fucking We have, them all out. We have a video of this. We need to find that video. Yes. Posted on Twitter. No, we have a video of this. Customs agents is going. Like, what, what the, the hell? Fuck. However, I broke no laws. I declared everything. Yes. Their <laughs> option are they let us keep three. Well, also, he was very clever. And he said, you know, listen, I'm running for president, for U.S. president. Yeah, and and right. we actually had buttons, you know, um, some of his. Right, he gave uh, buttons out to the customs here. station. Here, where so are it buttons? worked. Back and forth for president. So they're like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That I makes sense. <laughs> so they confiscated 27 of, and we had some serious yeah, like, binary trigger AR-15s mm -hmm. that could fire. 30 rounds a second. All right. So we had some shit. We had they some shit. But they said, okay, here. pick three. You can keep three. <laughs> so yeah. we actually kept four. Yeah, I had one here, but that's yeah, nice. Janice had one here. You know, because that's I what I knew. I ain't living with just three weapons. <laughs> I ain't living with three weapons. Nah. Not with nah. Nah, uh, uh. I gotta have two in my hand yes. when I sleep. All right. <laughs> so now so we, we kept four. Um, but that's another story. Okay, so, so that then was we Bimini. made it to Exuma. So yeah. we get that's so then we get to Exuma, which I've been to many times, the most beautiful fucking island on the planet. But I know they're coming. I know that legally they can't do shit, but they they don't let us get away with this shit, are they? Why? Because as soon as you got there, we're posting on Twitter yeah, you know, on the beach the going, Fuck <laughs> you, America. <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> yes. So I knew they're coming. Well, they came in April. Uh, uh, Early April. I 
think so. The first week of April. Uh, I, I'm John fucking McAfee. You're not going to listen. I founded the world's largest computer security company. I didn't do that by not knowing how to how to find out shit, did I? I mean, listen, you're going to buy a safe to put your valuables in? You're going to buy it from someone that can't crack everybody else's safe? Fuck no. Hey, can you crack this guy's safe? No, I can't. Well, then I'm going to buy his safe instead of yours. No. You name it, I can fucking crack it. So ain't nothing happening. I can't find out about it. So I found out just in time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we left Exuma six hours before the CIA special forces came to collect me in the Exumas. Went to Cuba. We were there for yeah. two months. Cuba God awesome. damn, you're going to love Cuba. Cuba was so awesome. Fuck, that was yeah. so awesome. If, However, if any of you guys ever get the opportunity oh, to go, please holy go. Holy shit. So we're there for two months. <laughs> two military officers come mm -hmm. and tell Janice and I, you will appear. Yeah, they give us this little note and say, be uh, no, there at this time. Be there at two o'clock yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> it's an army base. Yeah. So we're there at two o'clock. It's Cuba. You don't fuck with those people. A general comes in with a contorpreter. Very fucking polite and says, Mr. Bradford, we're so sorry, but America has, has demanded that we return you to America unofficially, do unofficial channels. And by the way, two days earlier, American warships appeared off Havana. You could see these yeah. fucking warships. Yes. Give us McAfee or else. But Cuba, listen, those mofos got balls <laughs> the size of basketballs. So now they go, the general said, however, Miss McAfee, uh, we are disinclined to do that. But you do understand uh, our situation now. While you're in our country, you are <laughs> a severe problem. You have. Uh, 72 hours to leave our country and never yes. come back. Now, mm -hmm. when a goddamn yacht, our captain is in Guatemala for fuck's sake or yeah. someplace in yeah, Central. He, he had just went home because he'd he been just, with yeah. us the whole Nicaragua. time. Yeah. He's in Nicaragua. Yeah. We're going 30, 72 hours. So we, we're, we're struggling. I'm working nonstop trying to get trying our to yacht get together captain. so we can get out of Cuba. Every day they come by twice a day, Mr. Mm -hmm. You sure Are you you're sure you're going to be out of our country within 46 hours? Yeah. Then, Mr. McAfee, are you sure within 30? Finally, I said, listen, if I have to swim to Haiti, I'm going to be out of the country. <laughs> and the guy goes, I understand. So <laughs> we ended up leaving 16 hours, 12 hours or something. No, we, we, no, we had 16 hours 16. to spare. Okay. We get out. Four and a half days at sea. Yeah. Now we've got our staff, mm -hmm. our captain. Four. We didn't have enough food. We didn't have enough water. We Nothing. ran out I of mean, food listen, and we... water by the first day. Yes. Right? So because we couldn't get enough supplies because we only had seventy-two hours, so we didn't yeah. have enough anyways. Nothing. So four days, right? At we sea in a fucking get to storm. Fucking the Dominican Republic. Yeah. We get to the dock. We all pumped up like hell. Yeah, I'm about to shower, walk these dogs. You know, yeah. we're gonna enjoy Fuck ourselves. Yeah. yeah? But they don't let us off the boat, right? So we ain't tripping. We're just excited. And we notice soldiers land, yeah? with automatic weapons yeah. on all the docks. Oh, mind you, they have cleared out the the docks nearest to where we can. Yeah. Where we there were no now. boats anyway, all just in case boats, firing started. Yeah. Okay. All of the boats were were kind of packed together on a separate on the side separate dock. of the, of the <laughs> dock, Okay. We and had to because you have to pull into customs yes. and immigration. Yeah. There was not a fucking boat anything. there. Nothing. There was a soldier, every dock around yes. had soldiers. There was a soldier, weapons. yeah, two soldiers on this dock here, you know, facing, and then we were surrounded over here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, what is going on? Like, I ain't feeling like this. Like, this don't feel normal, right? Yeah, normal. Like, mind you, I ain't a boat person, so I don't know. Like, maybe this is what they do in the Dominican Republic. But so after a while, it becomes very clear that there's a problem. It has now it's been like three problem. hours, and we're uh -huh. still just on the boat, and they they're not allowing us to talk to customs. We can't get nothing. To we, eat. We, we, we can't could do not, We couldn't go through immigration or customs. Yeah. We had our weapons laid out. We are ready table. to declare. I'm ready to day. fucking declare. On your normal boat with your captain, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Laid out on the table, unchambered. Of uh, the 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 ammunition in a separate yeah, fucking container, like we normally did. What you like normally, we normally do did. when you come in with a yacht into a foreign country? Some countries take all, like in Cuba, say, "Came in, we back to you when you left." Yeah, so they, they did. Say, Others, like I want to say, you can make three 
but you got to keep them on the boat or whatever. So, so different rules, it's not illegal. Yeah. So finally, with their goddamn and this no longer back suited mother who comes on, it's clearly this guy's frozen. Wait, 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 hold Hello. on. Hold on. Hello, uh, are y'all frozen? Oh, I can still. You're okay, frozen. okay, you're there frozen. we go. I, I got you. Yeah, you're back now. Okay. 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 So now, so this black suited suit motherfucker comes, comes yeah. uh, and clearly, they take our phones. when they I take see our him, passwords. when I see him, I know, oh man, we are in trouble. So now he is the internal security for the Dominican Republic, high level. So that net is we're arrested and we're told yeah. you have well, actually they didn't even tell us that we were arrested. They right? just arrested they, us. They just arrested <laughs> us. Yeah. But in any case. Well, they, but they didn't say we were detained. Nevertheless, anything, nevertheless. But, so yes. Sorry. We were told ultimately you have to go back to America. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going, God, because America has a long arm, you gotta understand it. America is the most powerful country in the world. And anything near America, especially if you're a third world country with no power, you do what America says. They said, we want McAfee to send him back. Cuba, said, <laughs> Cuba, <"Fuck you." laughs> Cuba said, fuck you. Yeah. All right. Why? <laughs> because America has put Cuba down for 56 years. Oh, well, they still are. Yeah. They're still putting them down, yeah. not letting food come in, not letting medicine come in. Jesus, God. The Cubans said, fuck you. Mr. McAfee, we're getting you 72 hours. We said, no, get the fuck out of our country. <laughs> All right. So we did. But anyway, so now, four days we're in jail in the Dominican Republic. But uh, I'm not a stranger <laughs> to this situation. So I got two lawyers. Um, it came down to the final two hours. They're about, they're about they took Janice and had yeah, they her were taking me to the to, airport. To a fucking airplane. Yeah. I had my they lawyers the there. They were sitting so me finally, now. I'm timing. We're in the head of immigration for the Dominican Republic, his office. And he's going, Lo siento, amigo, es muy, muy, muy complicado. Says, I'm really sorry, sir. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, you just, you just you're freezing oh, up with all the important details. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, one second, one second. Okay. Wait, wait for that connection okay. to come back. So we're gonna call you back. We're going to connect to an alternate source. All right. All right. We'll call you back in two minutes. All right, okay. no problem. Ooh, this, yeah, that's that's the part. Yeah, I need to hear that that we part of the story. This is, this is important. Yeah, he's we're just about to. Now. Okay. okay. He's okay, about so. to tell us uh, about uh, his conversation uh, with these people in the DR. Um, I guess it's some sort of officers uh, that have detained them. I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, were the relations with DR? I guess I guess it's just American bullying. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. I remember seeing some of this last year when it was all going down because they were like live tweeting a lot of stuff. I remember seeing the picture of the boat with the guns. I remember seeing people them getting detained, like all this crazy stuff. Mm. So it's just very, to me, it's very interesting. Like, it, like John is, escapes everything. And then like, you know, then he's with Janice and it's like, do they get separated or are they together? Like, how does she get out of it? It's just, there's all these things. Yo, this is like better than a Netflix series. This is it, it's it's their life. That's their their reality. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know realize how. Do you realize how epic the stream is right now? It's amazing. Like it's absolutely amazing. Like, like I gotta have my kids sit down and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> You're making history right now. History. <laughs> this is insane, yo. He's like. God, he's like the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> I, and I, I know, because I, 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 I watch your facial expressions when we're doing this type of stuff. Oh, they're here they are, they come back in. All right, so I can just see, like you, you're gonna need like a week to process this. Like when I we am. go, when we go on, when we come back on next week on your channel, yeah. you're gonna have to process it and then you're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> this and that. Okay, John and Janice, you guys are connecting again. Are yeah, okay, I'm sorry, we're, we're in a communist country. We're gonna, and, and listen, we have alternate methods of everything here. So now we're connecting over the ghost phone system, believe yes. it or not. Okay? <laughs> okay. Why? It's the only thing that works all over the world, as far oh. as I know. So now 
we're connected over the ghost phone system, we should have no further problem. Yes. Provided our our hot spotted phone it doesn't run out of fuel. So now, <laughs> okay. So now, so so we're in we're in the Dominican Republic. Yes, you're in Hedega Okay, so at the very at the last day after four days, they take us out and going. You're going back to America. Mm -hmm. My lawyers are with me by then. So now I find out exactly what's happening. Okay, so I tell my lawyers, I said, listen, go and file with the Supreme Court a brief saying that I demand my day in court because they arrested us illegally. Yes. We all knew that. Yes. They tried to keep me away from lawyers. Mm -hmm. Not possible with John McAfee. Um, so uh, we got the lawyers. We got everything. So. Yeah. Now they said, well, that's going to take two hours. They've already taken almost. Well, they were they're they about were to take Janice. So I go, how much time? It said two hours. Two I hours, go, yeah. you've got two hours. Go do it. Yeah. So, so he, we had um, we had cash on us, or John had cash on him. We had he, cash. We had eighty thousand um, dollars in cash. Yes. And so they I were have cash. they were giving the cash back, and so they Counting took him into it. a they yeah they had a county, <clears throat> so they were taking him to a separate room, and so he's in that room, and he gets up and comes to me, and he says, "Listen, don't trip. You know everything's okay. Don't worry. All right." I'm just doing my thing. Yeah. So he goes back across the hall and he's sitting watching them count the money. And then he just falls out on the floor, right? In convulsions. No, All right. Yes, in convulsions. Yeah. So he falls <laughs> out on the floor. Yeah. So me, I'm trying to get my acting on and trying to find some tears and you know, oh my God, what's happening? Blah, 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 blah right? But like I swear to God, if I had a picture of this, it would be so perfect because everybody's standing there like, just wait, y'all. Don't move. Don't nobody move. Don't nobody fall for this shit. This nigga's faking. Like, they, seriously, they was all standing yes. there looking at him like, get your yeah. ass up. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I'm one of the best actors in the world. I am. <laughs> because, mind you, it's very well known that he faked a heart attack. I, I faked a heart in attack in Guatemala, in, in Guatemala <laughs> to get out of, to uh, avoid being deported. I do this shit constantly. But I, but at this time, I faked a stroke. Well, I've never yeah. faked a stroke before. So, <laughs> when I get up off the floor, <laughs> I don't recognize anybody. I don't recognize Janice. Nope. I don't recognize my security. I don't like <laughs> nobody. Not the not the head of of immigration. I've spent the last hour in his office, and so I'm terrified. And I'm scooting. Help! Somebody! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> and I'm scooting on my ass. And finally, some of them are going. Well, God I don't damn, know. Maybe this is maybe the motherfucker <laughs> really did a stroke. All right. So <laughs> so. I've got my back against the wall. Unfortunately, they had a goddamn doctor there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who has a doctor in immigration? What the fuck is that all about? <laughs> Nevertheless, he came and he's they looking at me. They called him especially for you. <laughs> yeah, for me, maybe. Who knows? Because I listen, this mofo, you tell us. But listen, I know how to fake a stroke. All right. So I read up on this shit. And the doctor's going, and he finally goes, it looks better. Take him to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> now I got my two hours. Yes. They've now taken Janice. Yes, they took me to the. They've airport. already taken Janice to the plane, but I know. Here's what I know. Listen, the news. First of all, we're already in top of the news. John McAfee arrested yet again Inquiry, in the like Dominican, Dominican Republic, Republic. This yeah, wife, yeah. for this God knows what. <laughs> yes. um, so mm -hmm. I know that the head of immigration is thinking. If that motherfucker dies and we put his wife on a fucking phone, which I said right yeah, up front, plane. I need my <laughs> wife with me. She's my, she's my, my nurse, my yes. nurse. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, so I could, I could just see the. And listen, if that motherfucker dies, yeah. and we put it. We're going to look. So just before they put her on the plane, they, they went and grabbed and her me. and yeah. brought her back. Meanwhile, I'm on the way to the hospital. Now I'm thinking, okay, the hospital is a good 20 minutes away. So that's 20 minutes to the hospital. Mm -hmm. About half the doctor's going to gonna get there. Here. I'm not going to recognize him, me, or anything. I'm going to resist being uh, examined because I don't know who you folks are. <laughs> Where the <laughs> fuck am I? Right? So that's another half hour before they can even examine me. Okay. <laughs> so then they got to do x-rays. <laughs> All kinds. Of, I got. I've got my two fucking hours now. Yes. So Janice, forty-five minutes later, 
shows up in the hospital, all concerned. Yeah. My lawyers aren't there, but I know they said two hours. They're good yeah. lawyers. Those mofos well, leave my, and then the And the nurses, you know, they keep trying to get me to say, okay, can you just, you know, just tell him he'll be okay. We just want to examine him. Because I'm not, they I'm wanted not, to do I'm a, not recognizing um, anybody, see? They wanted to do a CAT scan. <laughs> yeah, so, but now he can recognize me, right? So now they're now, like, now, okay, maybe she now, can help. Oh, it's helping. Yeah. <laughs> now I can recognize at least my wife. Yeah. Okay, so, but I'm saying you're not, you're not touching me, you're not taking me anywhere, and I'm fighting everybody. <laughs> Then, almost two hours to the minute, my lawyers come in with a piece of paper. <laughs> well, they came in a little more clandestine or undercover than that. But they come in with these big, you know, Kool-Aid smiles. Yeah, like, smiles. Yeah, like, like, here we got it. it. <laughs> they yeah. hand it to the head of immigration. Yeah. Now, he's fucked. Why? Because they arrested us illegally. Yeah. Oh, they arrested yeah. us on the orders of America. We didn't do jack shit. Yeah. They they had charged us with bringing guns illegally, but we couldn't have. We didn't. They didn't let us talk to customs yeah. to declare them. If they were illegal, customs would have taken away from us, and we'd have been everything fine. No, so they're fucked. So fine. The head of immigration comes and says, "Miss my feet. Where do you where do you want to go?" go? <laughs> I said London. I said London. I got a British passport, right? Yeah. London. He said absolutely. From that moment, we went from the most horrific jail conditions you could <laughs> ever fucking imagine. I'm serious, dude. I've been in jails scared. all over the goddamn world. Dominican Republic, bottom of the yeah. fucking barrel. So now, went from that to so everybody basically a, kissing our asses to a convoy <laughs> to the Santiago International yeah. Airport, where we were served with white gloved servants at the VIP, yeah, where the heads VIP. of state mm -hmm. are received when yeah. they come to, yes. with champagne. And we ate, uh, and when we asked for, um, we they asked said, for Burger what King. do you want? I said, I want Burger King. <laughs> They're looking at each other. They bought, <laughs> <fucking Burger King. laughs> they bought us fucking Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, uh, on the way to London, I, I, I said, Janice, Baby, we can't continue. Yeah, that this. was intense. We can't run forever, so we got to go underground, and we've been underground ever since. Yeah. So, uh, oh. what does underground mean? Oh. That means nobody knows where we are, nobody dude. Knows. We don't tell anybody. Yeah. Not our family, not Janice's kids, and not her parents, not my best friends. Nobody. Okay. See, here's why. Up to that point. In Cuba, for example, and in the Bahamas, we were Watching laying on the beach and, and thumbing our nose yeah. up every goddamn day. Take me to fuck you, America, right? Yeah. In the in Cuba, yeah. fuck you, America. Yeah, okay. well, this is you where know, we are. America, this America is goes yeah. fuck you. Yeah. Then again, we can't do a fuck you, America anymore. Yeah, no. So they can't uh, know where we are. It's underground. All right. Well, because I remember on Twitter there was a while where John was posting lots of pictures where you guys were dancing to, or their their videos where you yes. guys were dancing and he was serenading you and it was just yes. it was yeah like, no, we're, it was, we're, it was listen, that was probably yeah that was Bahamas and Cuba yeah we were it was so beautiful laugh. to see he's like grabbing on your booty you could tell he's like so in love with you it was just so it was like we was having a good time we yeah it was so nice to blast. see. I mean, it, now we still post things, but we don't post anything. Now, what yeah. we post moment, now you know, is we, mostly disinformation. Yes. You know, like we may travel somewhere for a day, take a whole bunch of, of photos, come back and post them saying, here we are. <laughs> 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 so nobody knows where we are. It's obvious, though, we're in a Russian-speaking country. Uh, <laughs> no, okay. come on, okay. say, say something, um, baby. All right. Let me see. Oh, She <laughs> said, I'd like to go to bed with you. So, basically, basically, you're running from. The IRS and the SEC. Yes, we are running from the IRS to the SEC, the two most corrupt agencies of the U.S. government. <laughs> uh, oh I don't know God. if that's a a a, a, um, a badge of honor or <laughs> or a, <laughs> uh, the reverse. I'm not sure, yeah. but that's who we're we'll, running from. We'll find out soon. I'm sure. We'll find out eventually. <laughs> but no, we're, the, the, believe me, there are no more corrupt 
agencies. Because the SEC, just because they're after me, destroyed an $800 million company just to fuck me. And they're there to protect stockholders. Thousands of stockholders lost everything because they wanted me. Do you understand? That's corruption, if you ask me. Yeah. That's corruption. But, but oh whatever. God. I'm not going let's so, not get into politics. Shall so, we? so 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 <laughs> I, I want to ask you about this ghost phone, right? I have no idea what this thing yeah. is, right? And, and you're connected and to it now. Look at this. Shut up. Look at it. Look how it's hanging. Braids. It's goddamn braids, baby. Look at it. Right. It's, it's not braids. Read the show. <laughs> <guys. laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. I got you. All right. <laughs> so so how, how, do, how do I get one of these ghost phones, right? I need I need I need a ghost well, phone. Okay, first of all, they're coming out uh, 15th of September. Okay. Uh, we're we're in beta test now. And anybody listening who is a member of the mainstream, I hate to say it, this mainstream media or any major media, uh, we will give you. Uh, one of the eSIMs that will turn your phone into a ghost, meaning no one will know who the fuck you are or where the fuck you are. We don't encrypt anything. That's not our job. Our and, job is to hide. It's to hide you. That's all and, we can do. And John Hotep needs he he needs one. You got to get him one. He I does need. because he is <laughs> really? he he is a very predominant figure in the black community. He's doing an amazing job. So he needs one. Yeah, he does. Is for black? Shut up. Black. Oh my God. It's past his bedtime. <laughs> you don't look black to me. I'm sorry. But whatever. Uh, yes. No, all right. I'm a white girl from Boston. Apparently. Okay. That's well, she is. Me all the time, I am so. blacker than she is. Yes. I'm telling you now. That's whatever. Yeah. No. That's a big um, lie. Okay, I will. Is it now? Yeah, you, you, what are, okay, what no you? one is talking about what is below your waist, darling. Okay, yeah, well, I wasn't talking about that either. <laughs> yes, but, you oh, are. Boy. I was not. <laughs> you know what? Pause no okay, so I've got the biggest wide dick on the planet. Okay, oh so my god, so Jesus everybody Christ. knows that. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, way bigger than the average black man. I'm telling you oh right God. now. Just oh please tell God. them about the okay, ghost phone. Okay, yeah, the phone. God. I will send you. I will, hang on. Isn't he the worst? All right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Worst. Okay, uh, email Janice with a, a, an email address. I will send you. Then they have to have an eSIM compatible phone, like Samsung, or, or steal one or borrow one. A Samsung <laughs> S20, uh, Google Pixel, the latest uh, iPhone X. Uh, those all have eSIM. So what you do is you just take your SIM card out of the phone, scan our eSIM that we send you, and you're fucking invisible. All right? Okay. That's all you have to do. We won't charge you a dime. Now, our service is extremely expensive, but as a member of the press, you get one with a gigabyte free. <laughs> now, this is, this is data only. Uh, no voice, but nobody calls anybody anymore. For fuck's sake, we and I are talking uh, over the internet, right? Yeah. So you take out your SIM card, you scan our eSIM, and you're connected to every cell tower in America, not not Canada, 35 countries, all right? Every, all across America, every cell tower in America, we will connect you, all right? But, but if my phone is connecting to the tower, they won't be able to track me by what, how I'm connecting they to the tower? They cannot tower. track you. I promise you. No, it's the ghost cell phone service using those cell phones. No one can see that except us. And we don't, we don't save any, inf any. First of all, when you sign up for the service, we don't ask you who you are. We don't ask for documentation. We don't ask for anything other than where do you want us to send the eSIM? Send us some crypto or send us just a steal a credit card. We don't give a flying fuck. Uh, pay for it. We'll send you the East Sim. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just All right, saying. So, so now what listen, I, what, if John it? McAfee has created this, I created this for me. Yes. We don't have phones. We can't. The reason we can't is if we had a goddamn cell phone, we'd be collected within 24 hours. Right. Because the cell phone towers would triangulate our sorry asses, yeah. and we'd be gone. But with the ghost system, no, there's no time. No one can find you, the and nobody knows who you are. The, the service you can is do monthly. It daily. It's, uh, 
it ain't cheap. It's, <laughs> it's $5 a day with one megabyte. It's $30 a month with one gigabyte. An additional gigabyte is $25. It ain't cheap. But, you know, it's only to be used when you're trying to hide. Right. You know, put the SIM back in from AT&T or whoever, Verizon, when you want to, you know, go on Pornhub. We don't give a flying fuck. Right, but right. you don't want to use our system to, to cruise Pornhub. No, right. you use our system on those occasions where you absolutely don't want to be known. My mother. Now, people say... People say criminals are going to use them. Well, of course they're going to use them. Criminals use every fucking technology. I mean, yeah. when phones came out, who who put the first nationwide phone systems in? The goddamn mafia. So what they about, could coordinate. What about the local device? How can I be sure that my local device doesn't hasn't been compromised? I can't help you with that. Okay. Buy a brand new phone, okay? Right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I yeah. can't help you with any of that shit. All right, I'll figure uh, it out. That's a problem. And yeah. most are. All right? Yeah. This is not for everybody. Right. This is for people who absolutely do not want to be located or known. Because mm. I promise you, using our phone, ain't nobody going to find out where you are or who you are. Mm. Give us a fake name. We don't give a flying fuck. We don't even take the name. Give us money, we send you the sim. <laughs> That's give us twenty nine ninety five. We send you a month long sim. Give you a gigabyte free. Go do your thing. That's it. And I don't got to pay till I run out of that data, right? You don't have to what? Do I have, have to, to pay until he runs out of the data? If you run out of a gigabyte, you got to pay us another thirty bucks to get a gig. I'm sorry, it's right, not. To, it's not to watch movies and things. Right? No, it's, no, that's fine. I just want to make sure yeah. that. Yeah, no, you run out of that, you send us another 30 bucks. You can, in fact, you can do it all up front and send us 60 bucks and get two gigs. All right. right. Okay. But with That's that $30, with that $29.95 monthly subscription, uh, you get a month free access to every cell phone tower in America and a gigabyte of transfer. Mm. Now, most people are going to be using it for messages going, hey, you know, where's the shipment <laughs> or whatever. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Or, hey, my, my wife's out of town. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> you, you, can, <laughs> you can come over at 8 o'clock. I don't fucking care. Right? <laughs> we all know that people need privacy sometimes. The ghost phone is the ultimate fucking privacy. That's all mm. I'm telling you. Mm. The only thing you can keep private with us, though, is your location and identity. I mean, if you're using Twitter, okay, and everybody knows who the fuck you are, well, they still can't find out where you are. But they're going to know who you are, obviously. Yeah. Okay, but if you got a phone that you're using for secret communications, believe me, <laughs> they are going to be fucking, listen, I founded people, the largest computer security company in the world, right? And I got successful not because I didn't know shit about breaking an entry, but because I did. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> let's, let's get real, can we? Again, let's get back to the safe analogy. If you want to buy the most secure safe and you go to, okay, hey, uh, can you hack this safe? No, I don't have a clue. Well, fuck you. I'm buying that safe. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. You come to McAfee. Do you want to hack this? Yes, of course. What about that? Of course. What about this? Um, that's why we got number one. <laughs> because there's nothing I couldn't hack. Mm. And there's nothing that I can't get into. And therefore, mm. when I promise you, <laughs> no one will know who you are. Or where you are, you gotta fucking believe me, people. I built this for me because we haven't had phones for over a year. Yeah, yeah. we can't. All right. You, so you built this yourself. Them. You 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 dev this up yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> who else would have thought of this shit? I mean, who, who else is crazy enough to go? Hey, <laughs> this is what we need. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. That's dope. That's dope. Wow. Amazing. All right. Listen, we've been on for almost two hours. All right? Yeah. And we've had a great time. And we have had a great time. And yeah, I know you guys are nice. shitless. And thanks for putting <laughs> no. up with our nonsense. You know what? We're no, gonna most have... people fall asleep during our interviews. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> oh, this was amazing. This was amazing. We made we made history today. Today we made history. So we, <laughs> we we appreciate your time. We know Janice is a very busy woman because she has to look after your ass, John. Okay. Yes. That she That's does. You know? so listen, they, if I didn't they, have Janice, I'd, listen, two years ago, I'd been gone. You know? <laughs> First of all, listen, she saved our ass in Portland by refusing to get into the garbage bin, right? <laughs> because yeah, that's, that's cool. what I want to do. Find mm -hmm. the goddamn garbage bin. Wanna, listen, they dumped that motherfucker and, and crushed it. Yes. So, no, she saved my ass. She saved my ass more times than I can count. And you've saved uh, mine, sir. And I have saved Janice. We've saved these others. Wow. We, we, live a, me. we live a very ordinary existence. Yeah, not it's much really happens. boring, actually. It's pretty boring, really. <laughs> it seems like hot shit to the outside world, but we, we spend so much time watching TV. Yeah, watching you wouldn't Netflix. goddamn believe it. I mean, I'm serious. Family guy. But it's five, six hours a fucking day. We're watching television. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of life is that? I'm just saying. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. It's um, family Guy, goodness. Netflix. Yes. Oh, sometimes you get these great All movies. these old black and white movies he's Fucking been showing old me. Old black and white shit. No, we're yeah. talking about things like um, uh, Akira Kurosawa, mm -hmm. for example. Yes. Ingmar Bergman. Yes. Ingmar fucking Bergman. Did you not enjoy yes, that I shit? did enjoy it, actually. And fuck yes. yeah, it's <laughs> mind-blowing shit. Right. Mm. So yeah, we but it's still television. <laughs> he, he gives good time. He gives good time. Listen, if anybody <laughs> out there who's ever fucking known me, if you're listening, you know one thing. I give good fucking time. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. That's an yeah. understatement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I give good time. I maybe not good head, but I can Shut good up. time. Oh my god! Fuck yes. <laughs> can I? Can I ask what, okay. one one last question? Can I ask what language Ghost was written in? Well, it's or, or that would that actually most of it is C plus plus. Oh wow! Damn. Well, it's the only language that makes any sense if you're going to do security, isn't it? Mm, I guess so. Interesting. And plus, it's my favorite language. Well, actually, my favorite language is assembly. Why? Because you cut through all the crap. I mean, get right down to the machine instructions almost. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, I started computers in fuck me, 1969 with General Electric. Before there were keyboards, before there were monitors, before there were punched cards where all the programming was throwing switches on the front panel of the computer. Everything was programmed in machine code. Why yeah. not? Yeah. It, didn't have, it didn't even fucking have assembly. Uh. You simply had machine instructions. Branch unconditionally to here. You had to calculate, the, yeah. calculate that fucking address to whatever here was. Or if low, branch here. If high, branch there loop to this address so oh, fuck me no that was i i understand better than almost anyone because i was one of the first ones there yeah the relationship between software and hardware and in fact there it's a fuzzy fluid uh, division between the computer and the instructions that, that uh, make that computer do its magic mm. Mm. Mm, I'm getting into coding now. You've inspired me. He's, and... got, a, he's got an erection now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> so I don't want to talk to coders, man. <laughs> he's going to go and whack off immediately. <laughs> I'm not a coder yet. Computer instructions. I know this dude. I'm, I'm, this I'm not a coder yet. I, I just got into it. You know? <laughs> so I haven't yeah. even reached that See, level to call myself a now, coder. Had, had, I, had I even talked about things like recursive subroutines he would have ejaculated oh my song. god it's past his bedtime now yeah, I, I just you know actually i just got it into, i just got into that you know what a recursive subroutine is no he just started i just learning, i so. just got oh, into, i just okay. passed switch statements all right so now the most sophisticated of all programming techniques is a thing called a recursive subroutine all right now you know what a subroutine is it's something like you want to I'm going to take the square root of three, 
So you take the number three, you put it <laughs> in a register, you branch to the subroutine and point to the register and it says three. I'll take the square root of that. Yeah. A recursive subroutine is one that actually calls itself. Mm. Look it up. Mm. It's a very sophisticated mind bending concept. A subroutine where you say, take the square root of three. And in the process, it calls itself. Hey, take the square root of this. <laughs> no, except you don't do it for square roots. And square roots is too straightforward. So recursive subroutines is how that dude um, stole 100 million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We met him. Do you remember? Yes. We in met him in Bucharest. In Bucharest, but we when met he him stole in Bucharest on, on that bus where? on the way to to, to Dracula's castle. I know. Castle. I remember, but I but I forgot where. What did he steal the money from? Oh, he, well, he's, he's, he's. It was something. Wasn't it some sort of competition or something? No, fuck no. It was, actually, I should I should say no more. You should <laughs> say no more. Yeah, you you said you said enough. I say no. <laughs> yeah, hundred million dollars he got using legally recursive subroutines which the developers <laughs> of this project had never heard of. <laughs> A young kid, remember him? Yes, I remember him. Short kid, yes. blonde hair, Russian yes. guy. He was quite <laughs> open about it. Yeah, he was. So. He, he was so good. Finally, he was very I, proud. Finally, because I'm going, this motherfucker is brilliant. Who the fuck are you? He said, well, I'm the guy that took the $100 million. So I go, ah, no wonder. So he did that using recursive subroutines. <laughs> I should not say that because then they go, ah, that's how he did it. Uh. So anyway, <laughs> we've really enjoyed this. We've been on for four hours now. Yeah, like, four should, hours? Or something like that. <laughs> And uh, oddly enough, these guys are still fucking awake. Yo, you, you, know, you exceeded. You know, I knew this. I knew this conversation was going to be important. I knew it was going to be amazing, but I'm fucked up in the head right now. Like I can't even. Be <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm gonna go and like just get away from computers for a few hours and just like figure out what the fuck I just went through. <laughs> thank you very much for this conversation. I cannot thank you enough. And, th and thank you very much for thank asking for me, son. We have yes. enjoyed it. I know Janice had a big yes. look at her smile. Yes, Isn't we love that beautiful yeah. smile. Thank you. Isn't it beautiful? It is. You know what? Because we do we do this show. We do it every Wednesday. So we're going to have to have you guys come on again just because you guys are such a beautiful couple. And just to hear your guys' stories and just to see you guys kind of uniting despite your differences and just how much you both love each other. Just the way Janice looks at John and the way John is just all lovey-dovey with his girl. It's just so beautiful to see, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and and thank you again. Thank for you for us having on. us, and thank we'll be happy to come on at any time, not for two hours, so maybe in okay. an hour. We'll, we'll get we'll get a set of. I'm, an, I'm an old man, and I'm trying to get this lady to bed. It's already <laughs> it's already uh, twelve thirty in, in the morning our time. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> she falls asleep at <laughs> yes, two a.m. At two a.m. she's <laughs> working. Um, you know, if, if you died, what's happened? Shut up. Right. She needs she needs her sleep. She needs her sleep. You do not wake a woman up when she when a woman is sleeping. You do not wake her up. You bring her food, you rub her back, you massage yes. her feet. That's what you do. Uh, yeah. Or no, no, what I do is I very sneakily try to have my way with her in a subtle, slow no, fashion. That doesn't wake me up. does not wake her up. Okay, please, you gentlemen out oh there. Oh my God, he's not even lying. Okay. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> you gentlemen out there, you want to get some serious pussy. No. Okay. <laughs> you, you don't try to get oh cooperation. <laughs> you don't try to get cooperation. You learn the subtle technique oh, of sake. sleep fucking. So, oh, my kids right never now. see this. Uh, it's, it's like, it's not rape exactly. Shut up. She's woken up. She's woken up two or three times, quite enjoyable. She's going, damn, this is good stuff. So, no, it's not rape. Oh, my under, God. But 
stop. But what it is is thank it's, you guys for okay. having <laughs> it. Explain it. Have it. Have a no, great, great. Right. have a great rest of the evening. <laughs> Shout out to Hotep for coming on. Shout out to Miss McAfee. Shout out to John McAfee. You guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. Shout out to Johnny in the sh- super chat for the $50 super chat. We appreciate you guys. You guys share the shit out of this. We need to get it going. Hotep is going to be posting it on his channel later. Love y'all. All right. Thank you for having Thank us. You so All right, guys. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>